Nah, for real, we got to go ahead and do this shit, man, because we've been making moves over here. We uh-uh. can't just be talking to talk regular talk, people nigga. no more. Let's do it. Man, we bosses, so we had to talk to the biggest boss. Oh. Man, you see it. You know oh. what it is. Today in the trap, we got our player partner uh-huh. with us, Ricky Rose. Oh! The biggest. Oh! The biggest. The biggest. Bring me the wings, stop. The Bring me the wings, stop. What the fuck is they talking about? Bring me the wings, man. Bring me the damn wings, man. OG, the hair going on, man. Much How you love, living? Man. Much love. Welcome to the trap. Man, thank you. I appreciate you, you for being in here with you us, know man. What about? Yes, sir. You feel me? First of all, congratulations on everything. Much love, baby. Much yeah, love. You taking over. Selling thighs now. Yeah, we selling thighs. Go on, Chris. <laughs> Over the top. Over the top, if you heard they're running out of chicken tenders. You better believe it. Come on, man. They're running out of chicken. chicken you better believe it. You better believe it. You better believe it. With riders and shit, too, man. You know, right, them orange French fries. That's right. Them orange French fries. Best fries in the game. Best fries in the game. You better believe it. You better believe it. We just hustling, man. Most Trying to get our hands on everything. Yeah, definitely took it to a whole nother level, my guy. Most definitely. Like, Most appreciate it. Excuse me, let's, y'all know I rap, but we talking about perpetual. Why not? Longevity. Why not? You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of people be scared to spend their money on their self because they scared to spend it. You gonna spend it anyway. You see what I'm saying? I don't think no thighs in this one, my boy, but we got some wings. <laughs> we got some wings. We tried to wait on you, but boy, hey, yeah. we are in a way crazy. We gotta do better yeah. with our paper plates yeah, so that you know this is a beautiful thing. Then it's here. It's used. No, nah, it's a beautiful thing, man. Well, it's a beautiful thing. I, I see to eat your shit. Man, I eat it all the time. Okay. I used to I'm gonna offer him some I, shit that he already owned. You want some I shit? Up, I pull up in another city and two days ago, you know, down there, our Basel in Miami, I pulled up, got me a 20 piece, you know what I'm talking about? Okay. All flats. Do they charge you? Yeah, they do. Oh, that's terrible. They charge you? They do. I can no way. No, that, that's just the way I like business. Okay, okay. I, I don't I know how they gonna there. charge me. It, it ain't a problem. I'm gonna walk in there, you know what I mean? Now, how I was in there and say you gave your son one of your yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. for his yeah, birthday, yeah, yeah. man. How, how is that going for him? Man, you already know, really the situation is one of them things where Anything that's mine is is my little ones too. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Sure. And I was just encouraging the entrepreneurship in him turning 16. He still just got to focus on school. That's what I want him to focus on. But I let him know him becoming a young man. This will come with it. Most you understand? And you're not bullshitting. You no, got no, a no. restaurant, no, my boy. Yeah, yeah. You got to grind. You right. got to hustle. This yours. You yeah, got to yeah, make yeah. sure it keeps flowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to make sure it keeps going. But you started a lot. Of, I don't know if a lot of people know you better. You was in the game a long time before you actually blew up. So, you know what I mean? You have been rapping for years. So yes. does that does that change your perspective on how you go about it once you do blow up? Do you still have that old grind? Like when you're going from... I still got that old grind. This album number 11, you know what I'm saying? And I make sure... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's album number 11 for Rosé. Mm. And Rosé could have been tapped out and just rode the horses all day if I wanted to, you feel me? Right. But we still hustling, we still spitting hot raps and still take time out to sit with the real niggas no that feed the real niggas in the streets, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Appreciate that me? too, just even by blessing us with the presence. Man, I'm happy to be here, man. man. Uh-oh, we gotta run that shit back. Right, right. Right. Hey, you hear me? Yeah, all the way. You better believe it, it's real. I've been watching y'all niggas do y'all thing, man. Oh, appreciate man. that, man. Now, right. I gotta ask my question. I was thinking about that. I said, as soon as Ross get here, I'm like, what was the motivation behind the album cover? Because I was like, this nigga look like you, from, like you from Bridgerton on that nah, motherfucker. I'm gonna keep it real. What it was was, that was never the album cover. What it was was, I took pictures. I had a dope ass uh, photo shoot with Jonathan Manion. Mm-hmm. Them was some pictures I took by the pool having fun. I got the gloves on, but the ring was what I wanted to show mm-hmm. that lion's eye. You know what I'm saying? That's a real special, valuable piece. And so I'm throwing up all kind of shit like that. So when homie sent me the real roll of about 100 plus pictures, he had the three or four at the top on some having funny shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, I'm finna announce the album. Let's give him an image right now. Mm -hmm. Boom, and that shit went out and it went crazy. It went crazy. I liked it. The memes and all All the way to the good queen of England joint. I was like, (laughs) 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 I got a dub coming. 
Fat Trail just got out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My man, boy, that's man, my dog. Salute to Fat Fool, man. G compilation. Man, you already know. Um, you know, I'm just happy to homie free. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy to homie out. You know what I'm saying? That's a real solid nigga. It's been since since the day I met him. Man. Real talented. The nigga really rapping. The really real one. You know what I mean? And he just coming home. So, you know, I'm finishing what I'm doing, and I want the homie to wet his feet, get comfortable and shit. You know, I done sat with him, but Man. hopefully and next year, you never know what's gonna happen. And then, and then you know, being from the city, I'm from D.C., and he got that same type of element that I see that you have in Miami with the people from the city know that it's that, legit. That's you know what I mean? He really legit trail, from the streets, you know what I mean? I'm talking, about, All the way. I'm talking about from the day I met the homie, you know what I'm saying? It's always been what he said it was. Right. And that I always honor and respect that. Is that important for you in signing artists? Like, Most do they definitely. have to be what they say they are for yeah. you to work with? I mean, for me, it's past. It ain't even about the money no more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It ain't even about that. We doing this shit for the love. This for the culture. So, nigga, you got to really bring something that's going to be inspirational. Right. And that's starting with me. You got to inspire me straight off the gates. And if I know you make that happen, nigga, I know you can feed the streets. Facts and do something for the streets. Right. That's one thing I always did, just admire the way you took your record label from the ground up. Not only from the ground up, you took your, 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 your peers and the ones you signed from the ground up with you and you made them bosses. Like, we actually saw that. Without a doubt, you know what I mean? Because me being in the position I am, it's much, it, it's real easy to spend money right. on a homie. But when you invest your heart, nigga, your time, all your resources, and that's what I did. I wanted it because that was one of my dreams, to not just be a nigga that blow, but be a nigga that blow, and then be in a position to make another young nigga dreams come true. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I seen with my homies. I've been rocking with day one niggas like Gunplay. Hell of course, yeah. when I, Nick. Yeah, yeah. Don yeah. Logan. Yeah, 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 without a doubt. Gun then, was popping, foodie. You already know, that's family. And then when I signed Wale and Meek Mill, you know what I mean, and, and just watching the niggas, Blossom in a, you know, you know what they brought to the game. I was, I love that. And and one thing I say is that the difference between what you do and what you see a lot of dudes who have record labels do. A lot of dudes are signed dudes and just say, here, he signed to me, but don't stand next to him and don't let him use the energy that you done created with you being a star and benefit off that. But you done stood next to all of your artists, you know what I mean? And not and just stood next to him, but work with him and I did. I wanted to see all my niggas hits win with all the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Man, hits I want to see yeah. my niggas win. Period regardless and it's still that yeah. way right now you know what I'm saying whatever we doing whatever we got to do you know what I'm saying like when this motherfucker get ready to add we got to start posting three days before send me the artwork and let me know what time we gonna post this shit whatever we got to do for my niggas to do what they got to do man you said some shit that really stuck with me though when you said you got to support your dog shit like, like it's your shit, shit. show believe that right that's heavy Especially like in the entertainment industry, it's always a one-man sport. Everybody wants that one spot. And I understand that too. Yeah. I understand that. I watched how other niggas before me got taken advantage of, then when they got in a position of power, they didn't know nothing else. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was raised different though. I was a nigga taught to never really complain, and then you work your way out of whatever the situation was. You feel me? When I created MMG, nigga, I spent that out of my pocket. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For several years on everything I had moving. Make sure all my niggas was straight. You feel me? Icy, whatever. Let's make sure we all straight. Ooh, let's put in the work. The first deal I got with Warner Brothers, I only had two years. Because it wasn't the situation. It wasn't the perfect situation. Rose wanted, but a real nigga grind his way out of that. Right, right. We don't crab our way out of that. I ain't no crab. Oh, this how I go? This how I got to do it? Okay. Okay. Right. Boom. Let me, let me Two years later, numbers. boom, we was at Atlantic Records. Mm -hmm. Heavyweight, you know what I'm saying? Right. And it's going to always be that way. Mm -hmm. As a boss, you wake up every day trying to way to better your situation. And not just for yourself, but everybody that's around you. And not just for everybody that's around you, but for your partners as well. Yeah. Once you become my partner, my nigga, I want to see us all eat. You do a motherfucking deal and you sign a deal with, with this, with Revolta, with, with you want to see them eat as much as possible as well. To me, that should be the mindset. Mm -hmm. I want us all to maximize this shit. Now, how we going to do it? 
Yeah, just like that. So how you feel like, okay, as being a boss and you motherfuckers is always coming to you with every problem, with every situation, because they don't understand that when you, when people put you on this pedestal, you have to walk that walk and talk that talk. It right. comes with a lot of pressure. Right. So how do you keep yourself sane and be like, you know what, and still come up with a plan to try to make sure everybody eat? It's real easy. You got to put in work. Ain't nothing for free. Facts. Ain't nothing for free. I cut my own grass, nigga, so when you coming around, you better motherfucking be bringing something to the table. <laughs> and not just one thing. You should be bringing eight different things to the table. Every time you come around, you should tell me about a new play. Hey, this is what the play is. You know, and it should be halfway credible just off the rip. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because that's how we gotta do. As entrepreneurs, rule number one, you gotta make motherfuckers comfortable with leaving your door open and letting people know they could bring an opportunity to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, if you the type of individual where a nigga say, hey, I got somebody who, hey man, what about the homie Greg over there? Nah, that nigga ain't, God damn. Fuck the whole, we gotta, gotta, we gotta fix that. Chain up. Yeah. How you navigate that though, that could be a lot, cause you leave your door open and motherfuckers just get to running in there with all that, look man, nah, nah, I got nah, some gummy worms, it's, it's, it's weed, you know what I mean? that come with that now. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta be a motherfucker that's credible, you know what I mean? The door open for credible individuals that's about really about handling business. And what do you need to see to make a motherfucker seem credible to you to be able to accept it? Do they have to have something in place that you can recognize no, before no, they get in there? No, 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 no. Your work should speak for itself. That's the beautiful thing about being out here on the streets. That's the beautiful thing about social media. You got to weave through all the hoes bending over doing that one leg cocked up with the calf Man. muscle. Ooh, that's hard to navigate and through, And get Ricky. straight to the paper, too. Man. That's facts. That's facts. You yeah. understand? Yes, sir. It's value on social media. I could see the niggas you hustling with every day and could kind of halfway trust what you niggas got going on. Oh, that's the homie family. That's the homie. Hey, homie. I ran across dog. Dog had a proposition. He 1,000. Yeah, he 1,000. Okay, bring that to the table. Come to the promised land with it. What make you think? What make niggas shy away from that? If your business ain't right, and if you know you intentionally bringing bad business to the table, that could be a bad situation for you. Big boy cow. Big boy cow. We only here for one reason. If niggas don't know, don't find out now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Yeah. Cause I got a lot of I got a lot of homeboys that probably like bring an idea to the table, but it's not really thought out. It's just a great idea. But, it's a, but if it's a great idea, but, but if it's a great idea, bring it to the table. No, we can bring it to the yeah, table, yeah, but bring it to the table. I can't Let's... like you trying to make me, all right, now nah, I told you, you do it. I'm like, shit. I got to do your business? No, 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 I just need a little bit of something No, me. you told it to me, so now I got to nah, be man, you. Like, no, 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 I just need you to be me financially. <laughs> I can do that, but uh, when I'm going to be you? To when am I got time to be you? And when we win. <laughs> but you just told me the idea, so you ain't thought nothing after that? After yeah, you told I it thought to, me? to tell you. That's what I thought. And then after that, then what? It's us. Damn. Hey, <laughs> that's what it is like. Did you tell him? I did. Okay. Like, but I told him I was gonna, I fuck with it. Hey, don't forget about me. I did. <laughs> but when I told him I'm gonna fuck with him, he stopped thinking. What'd he say? He just said, what you gonna do? I well, said, let me tell I you. told him, what you Let me tell you the part he ain't tell you. He ain't here, is he? He here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, yeah. with them type of conversations you have, especially like the responsibility of being a boss, I think from my perspective, what I done seen is just a lot of people don't account for the liabilities that come with that responsibility. You know what I mean? And it's a lot of liabilities that come with being a boss. So how do you navigate, you know, you take care of everybody, but when shit happening, you got to be the front of the company. Like, do you, yes. like, how do you, what do you put in, you have strategic ways, you put stuff in place to make sure that you are covered well, on liability? Well, I, I feel like when you a real hustler and you, you, you really, understand the cloth where we really come from. You understand? It's our responsibilities for the ones that's coming up, honestly. When I was coming up, I was looking for ways that I could get next to a boss, get down with the team, because I'm gonna protect the boss, I'm gonna protect the big homie. Anything coming my way, I'm gonna make sure straight, and I'm still that way now. When it come to propositions that you bring, and it's because I most definitely could take it to a whole nother level. Rose, Rose most definitely, you know what I mean? Half a billion dollar <laughs> yeah, nigga. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's other levels to this shit. Other levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And most definitely, we all got to protect each other. Right. That's the only way it go. Right. 
And that go for the niggas in our cities. That go for the young dogs. We got to protect our little homies. All right. All right. Yeah, 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 man. yeah, yeah. Speaking yeah. of that, like, Being you know. Being good niggas and then on top of that, you know, bringing so much to the community, to the tables. You know, when you go to Miami, you see the influence of Ross in Miami. You see the, the you know, from the, you know, the finger lickings all the way to the businesses and all that. Like, you got the one side you want to be important to your city you got to hear your city but on the other side it's so much danger because people are familiar with you how you navigate that man it's just one of them things that you gotta you really gotta understand you gotta stay prayed up and you gotta move you know you gotta move exactly you know that's just one thing that come with it. But one thing I refuse to promote is promoting fear into the youngsters and make them afraid to be a leader yeah. or to be a boss. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't be afraid to step out. Don't be afraid to step out there and be up front. You know what I mean? So I won't promote that. You know what I'm saying? And I know and I done been through, you know, all those sides. Mm -hmm. But most definitely be the head of the family, be the head of the household. Speaking Take the of, squad to the next level. Don't be afraid of, the kids, of that. You're getting, you're getting heavy in the book game now. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, yeah. Got one on the way now, huh? The perfect day to boss up. Yeah, yeah, we just released that one. Yeah, I saw it in the airport this morning. Yeah, it was in the airport this morning. Yeah, we just released that one. It's actually a New York Times bestseller, Wall Street Journal Pop bestseller. Shit. Okay. Okay. Shit. Shit. A hustler's guide to building your empire. Yeah, 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 yeah. They say the game is to be sold and not to be told. Man, and, and we might have to change that in we the future. We gotta change that, OG. We might that have to change, the young we we might have to change that. We him. might have to change that in the future, man, because sometimes we just gotta spill it on a nigga for nothing. Yeah, Tony. You know how you used to ask a nigga, you be like, man, because I know I did. Because I had to realize in any situation, I'm like, how can I make the most money and be useful into whatever this is? What is my purpose? Even when I sold dope, I said, I can't sell dope. I gotta be the nigga that whip. So when I seen the nigga whip, I said, hey, OG. Can you teach me how to whip? He said, I'm gonna have to charge it. I said, ooh, I ain't even got it. But I sit and watch from afar. But I knew if I was gonna do this, if I was gonna have to be the ball, I got to be the whipper. I can't be the nigga. I mean, DC now. was outside the window watching niggas whip. I'm straight. Y'all go ahead and do y'all thing. Don't even worry about me. I'm like, I seen him. He, he hit it to the right two times. God damn it, I don't fuck my dope up. Shit. I got soft now. Shit. Uh, you, you talk about buying back the block a lot, man, and that's something that I always admired in you because, you know, gentrification is one of the worst things that happen to us as a people. You know, you got all these dudes that get all this money in our communities, but we never buy any other property, and then they come in and buy it all up and ship us to wherever they ship us to. So where did you get that inclination to say, you know what, we got to buy back the block? Because the block is looked at as negative, you know what I mean, when it's said in that capacity. Nah, but nah, nah, because real estate... I ain't never lost with real estate. Mm, mm. Anytime you're looking for something to buy and if you can afford it, buy you some real estate. I ain't never lost. I'm talking about everywhere we came up at. I know where the houses used to be, goddamn 60,000 for a 3 2. Them motherfuckers, 300,000 right now. Mm -hmm. No cap. No I'm cap. I'm telling you facts. Oh, I believe it. You no know cap. what I'm saying? I'm telling you right now. So do you where Overtown was at in Miami, that shit is Wynwood now. That's where our Basel was at. Mm. That shit used to be $60 a month rent. So do you just hold it? Oh, yeah. man, you try your best. You try your best, you know what I'm saying? That's one thing, everybody be in different positions, but a, pers a person, if you financially can, man, accumulate as much as that as possible. Man, they got the thing, the dollar houses thing, and the thing about that is, I was looking at that, and you pay a dollar for the house, but then they give you a certain amount of time to fix the house up, and that's kind of dangerous if you only can buy one house, you buy a house, fix it up, now you got one fixed up house on a block of bandos, it's like, it becomes a liability, so do you look at it like, do you wait till you can accumulate multiple properties or do you just get one in one small area what you think is the best process to go into well, a start you, you, you got to look for me the, the way I moved I started buying real estate once I was in the position financially you know what I'm saying so I would go and try to buy goddamn two or three of them if I could right. but even if, if it was one at a time I'm fine with that that's a huge success and don't let another rich nigga tell you it wasn't mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. So, like I said, I've never lost. I've only accumulated value when it came to real estate. Mm. Them games, man. So even with doing music, like you just a hustler, just you just always had that entrepreneurship mindset. Right, right. 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 So, cause when I, 
listen to your music is more so like poetic. You feel me? Like I'm hearing a prophet speak. You feel me? Like it's just not words. It's like I'm hearing wordplay put together. It's a poem on the beat. You dig what I'm saying? I always admired that. Like, who was your inspiration when you always did music? Because your flow ain't just like an ordinary flow. It's like your your flow is you. Much love. You dig what I'm saying? Much it's love. All you. Much love, and I think one of the things that may have made a nigga unique is the fact how me coming up in Miami, mm -hmm. but still, like I say, left my doors open from West Coast all the way to East. Mm -hmm. I ain't really give a fuck where you was from. When I was a young nigga, as long as your album cover was hard, you could have been a whack nigga with an orange 6'4 on that bitch. Oh, I would have bought oh, that oh, bitch. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just one of them niggas. I loved the you know music that much mm -hmm. that even if your shit was whack, I listened to it. Damn, this shit garbage, and listen to that bitch again and again just to try and find just to something. Find something yeah. to like about it. Yeah. That's how much keep music looking I listen to. Right. Yeah. Here. yeah, yeah, yeah. I listen, I listen to that much music. Yo, I'm TV raps, nigga. I left right after school was out. To make sure I was at home at 3 o'clock. Shit came on at 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. in Miami. We got out at 2.30. Yeah, I was there. I had to see what niggas was, you know, what was going on. So you, you really didn't have a main rapper that you be like, this motherfucker is ill. Man, you got to understand, I was like that with every nigga. Mm -hmm. From the very first niggas I heard to the very first time I ever heard Too Short, right. Ice Cube, Eric B and Rakim, it ain't matter. Mm -hmm. To EPMD, to, you know, Everything. Yeah, it, it ain't even matter. If it touch my, if it touch me, it touch my ear. I'm on it. You already know if that shit came on right now, nigga. I already, I could tell you the album cover. You know, it's right. just one of them situations. But your music got so much more influence in it. It's melodic. So what other type of music did you listen that's to? The R&B side. Yeah, that's what that's I mean. That's my like, mama coming up from Mississippi side, listening to Johnny it. Taylor. Come on. That's right. that Curtis Mayfield. That's growing up listening to that. The first shit I ever wrote to was one of her Reby Jackson Centipede instrumental cassettes. Mm. Centipede. I was a young nigga. I got my hands on that. Took that in the room. Great. <laughs> wrote, wrote the Centipede, right? You still remember it? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> young and going crazy. Going crazy. Hell no. Hey, man, welcome back to the 85 South oh. Show. Look, I don't know if you listening or if you heard something, but man, we in here today. Ricky Rose. Hey, man. Drop a heavy game. Oh. Yeah. Oh. A real hustler, hustler, man. Man, one of, the, one of my favorite stories that, you know, on the come up, you said when you was working at the car wash and the dope boys used to bring their cars through there and you organize all the tapes, man. It's like, organize and you say you always sense. kept that attention to detail with everything that you do. I put man. that bitch in alphabetical alpha order. Exactly. Just to sit in your whip, too. I fill that bitch up with gas. And if I knew you was a real rich nigga, you let me, I leave that bitch running while the music play. Well, I do everything. Yeah. Don't even trip. Yeah. I was with the cassettes, then when the CDs started, you know what I'm saying? I just had the big CD shit, so you had to flip the book. book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. CD book. Now, do you recognize that in young dudes now? Like, when you go, can you see that in a young dude when you go out as a boss now that you in a position you to do with the big, nice car? And, uh, you know, do you recognize that in a young dude if you got attention to detail? Do you still see it? You sit in your car and be like, woo. I don't know, man. You know, I move different now, I don't know. Niggas just can't sit in your car, man. Yeah, that's you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, we ain't just, you know what I'm saying? We ain't just doing it how we used to, you know? So, I don't know, but I'm just trying to look through, you know? We keep a few young niggas around us, you know what I'm saying? Some solid youngsters. But I did hear you say, I want to make sure, I want to I be incorrect when you was on the, on the gram, and you were like, the nigga was saying, uh, used to rap about the, 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 the watch when you didn't have it until you yeah, ended yeah, up yeah. having it. So, yeah. you know, they, they call that fake until you make it. Would you want to say you rapping into fruition? No, nah, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. What my thing was, was I had a big homie in the hood before he got indicted. He had a PSJ watch. It was 1.2 million. Mm -hmm. And he used to always tell me if he pulled the pen a helicopter land in two minutes. Ooh. That's what he told me as a young nigga. So, and this one of the niggas <laughs> that gave me a lot of the relationships I came in the game with. Right. And that's how I was able to do a lot of things with different people, you know what I'm saying, before he went to the pen. So, the shit I saw, 
Mm -hmm. The shit I was exposed to, you know, was was a little different. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, by the time I had my Roly in, you know, I had a, my first one at 19. You know, I had my crib. That was my beam of. I had to escalate. You know, right. so I had toys. Right. But when I was talking about certain shit like the quarter million dollar watch, I wasn't there yet. Right. But that's the only thing that was on my mind. Me. Oh, I gotta have it. Y'all don't know nothing about it. Let me put you up on the Nah, you I done seen game. this shit up close. I done seen it on my dog. Let me see it though, dog. He right here. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? They go to helicopter. You feel me? You feel me? They coming. You here. You feel me? And so I was fortunate enough to, to, to be a young nigga that rode in your big homie Land Cruiser yeah. or the Grand, J Grand Cherokee when you was a young nigga, seeing certain things. So that shit was just, for me, the vision was there and I knew I wouldn't stop right. until I had it. So not only did I pass that, you know, I got the one from Jacob that Jacob charged three million for. Yeah. So that bitch already, that bitch already got equity in it. I know what time it is. Three million dollar nice. watch. I, I fuck telling time if my watch costs three million dollars. They go to helicopter. They go to the helicopter. Yeah, I mean, what? I mean, I don't know what time it is. Three million o'clock, motherfucker. <laughs> I got on evicted. This is an eviction notice. You know what I mean? <laughs> you get kicked out with this Man, motherfucker. Man, my shit costs three. Don't even answer me. Right. What? You can't figure it out. Box. Take your time. That, that would, so, and so my big homies inspired me. And that's who we even put that on my radar. And hopefully I do that for some young hustlers. Hell that's yeah. gonna take it way further than Rose. Nigga, go get a piece of art that's $25 million. Hell you know yeah. I feel like you, know you gotta change the, the mindset on the young ones. Like, yeah, you can play sports. Yeah, you can rap, but like. You can do whatever you wanna do. Whatever you wanna do. But you can do whatever you wanna do. What's up in your heart, nigga? Whatever gonna satisfy you as a man. Whatever driving you, your mama can't make you do that. Your daddy can't. Only you know that. You feel me? And that's how I feel you be the best you. And when you get, when you present the best you, can't nobody fuck with that. But the music is so important in that, though, and we don't have a lot of social commentary in the music no more. You are an exception. You talk, you don't just talk about the good parts of the game. You talk about the streets and all aspects. But now you have, the music is just filled with slide and shoot them up, bang, bang. So that's what the youngers are getting because our music speak to us differently. So how important do you think social commentary is in the music in regards to motivating the youth? I feel like, like I did, I studied the game. It didn't matter where you was from, from East Coast, West Coast, top to bottom, you understand? And it's up to every individual, that's what they gotta do. Mm -hmm. Cause that's what Rose wanna most definitely put on the table to you. We ain't riding through the streets running from authorities no more, man. We riding slow in some big half a million dollar shit, holding our head up, pulling up, talking to some more niggas, talking about another quarter million dollar play. I'm talking about in the middle of the street with the flashes on. Him. Huh, blinkers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's what it's about right now. Real shit. We ain't, we ain't running no more all that shit. That shit played out, man. Right. Yeah, let's take it to the next level, man. Let's create shit. You know what I'm saying? I reached out to my homie James Lindsay, who owned Rap Snacks through social media. Right. Three months later, we had a deal together. I did, too. Hell yeah. I did, too. I did, too. Mr. James, James, I did too. Yeah. Blame Jay, they could have did your fade a little he read, bit better. He read it three yeah. times. I, Every, I hit it there three times. Everywhere we go, that's all we enjoying right here. Can you tell James I hit him three times? Can some, somebody read it three nah, times? All you, gotta do is, all you gotta do, I'm gonna tell you the secret to get James. All you gotta do is bust the bag open and just start eating them right now. Watch this. Go ahead. <laughs> You feel me? Yeah. Everybody tag James right now, James Lizzie. Salute to James, so so real quick. Fish you raps that boy gotta, going in. Hey, what flavor you your play. shit gonna be, Flat? Huh? What flavor you want? I, I got one from like barbecue, man, barbecue. No, 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 no. I know the type of nigga you is. Well, who am I? You a salt and vinegar popcorn nigga. Oh. But I gotta ask you to promote some shit I eat, though. Salt and vinegar popcorn, nigga? <laughs> Hey. I don't know, if he coming up with some good shit. Hey. Yeah, confuse it. Hey, 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 pop your shit. That's hey, gonna be the deal. What you gotta do to get the three million dollar watch? <laughs> you gotta raise your wrist a certain way. Don't lie. You gotta get that three million dollars, cause once you pull that motherfucker. Hey, the helicopter. Hey, hey, they coming. coming. But James, I hit you three times, James. Somebody seen it three times. Yeah, James, James, I seen it. <laughs> 
Now, the, the liquor, like, was that something that you wanted to do? You know what I mean? Before you became, was that a vision you had? Like, I want my own liquor. And if so, who motivated you to do that? Well, once again, that take me back to when I was going to the club. Prince owned the club on Washington Ave. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They Prince, called, Prince? Yeah, the artist formerly known as Prince. That's he crazy. owned it. I remember we got in that motherfucker. We barely could pay to get in that bitch once we got in it. Yeah. Nigga couldn't afford no motherfucking. Nigga just kind of sat back. Right. Yeah. Out the Velvet wrapped yeah, 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 bottles yeah. of liquor, nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so as I'm sitting in the club the very first time I'm there, because, you know, we 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 go to loot clubs right. and shit like that on our side of the city. Yeah, this is yeah. our first time on the beach, you know, Madonna walking around, all that type of shit. So I'm watching the bottles that's going by, bottles. Dom Perignon bottles with flowers on them. Right. And I seen the pink bottle for the first time. What's that? Oh, that's Rosé. That shit hit me like a ton of bricks, nigga. Rosé. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And so, you know, shit, I just sat back in the club and I said, you know, it was only natural. Once I got in the club, man, it's only right. We do our own thing. Yeah. So I tried this shit, DJ Clue up in New York. Mm -hmm. Um took me out one night and we had them bottles, man, and I woke up the next day and was like, I want some more. And it was on ever since. Fucking right. And you bought it, you, I have to say, you took it to a next level, man. Like, just what you did with this brand alone, I mean, it's, it's one of the, that's the one of the ones that you see in every club you go to now, everywhere, no matter where you are. Oh, they man. got Bel Air Rose, they got Bel Air in the club, Ooh. and it's being purchased just as much. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know what I mean? And I give you credit for that. Yeah, you yeah. Gotta get some of that Carlos Bernard. Hey man, that's on the way. But what's that right there? Though. I see you got a new one. What's this? Oh, this rum right here. This damn near the fastest growing rum. This Bumble rum. Shout out to the team, Brett and the whole squad over there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bumble rum, man. This shit, some of the best. You know, they put it through the, you know, the most organic process, man. And that shit is fire. It's taking off everywhere. So. Y'all make sure y'all check that out, too. Different, man. Go crazy. Fucking with it, man. Hands and everything, nigga. Come on, man. You already know the, the album out right now. It, it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You gotta get that. Oh, wait. Yeah. yeah. My bad. <laughs> My bad. They go to helicopter. I mean, bullshit. We coming, nigga. We coming. <laughs> now, got on as far as the album, like, you know, I, I always wondered this, because you bring a lot out of artists when you rap. Like you, you bring the rapper out of niggas know they got to come with the, yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to rap when yeah. you rap with Rose. So who, who brings the best out of you in the booth? You know, it's just, um, for me, you know, I challenge myself. I'm going to push myself harder than anybody, you understand? But I love the most definitely, at all that. times, collaborate with niggas that go hard. Yeah, that's why the niggas I collaborated with, let's say Benny the Butcher, for example, niggas crazy. was telling me, oh, you know, okay, I, I want to make sure I line up all the real niggas and put them next to me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And he handled this business. Shout out to Benny. Benny, Benny nice, man. He, he real nice. Nice. Nigga, Benny said, you not safe. This clip in my new Glock great. Long enough to do a drive by for two blocks straight. <laughs> I'm like, God yeah. damn. Uh, you just hit those lines that, that make you go like that. Like, you got so many lines that just make a nigga go, God damn. Is that something you strive to do or you just go in and it just come out like that? That's most definitely the plan. You know what I'm saying? We got to most definitely do some shit that's going to touch niggas. Right. You know? And, and we still doing it, man. You know what I mean? So very descriptive. Yeah, 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 yeah. We love to paint them pictures. Keep it vivid. I feel like every song I've ever listened to you on, and I'm riding in the car, it always put me in the mood where I'm like, I find myself glazing in it. I'm just listening to you rap. And it just, I just tap into that musical realm where now I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it, but I'm seeing it as I'm hearing it. And I'm like, man, I ain't too many rappers who can get me into this type of Yeah, this, this nigga made me want to go to Santorini, Greece. For real. I got to go over I got to go, go, man. That, that white. It's flat on. All that and white. And I got to play that go when ahead, I'm over there. Ahead, I want to just be looking over go at ahead. this shit. Take your chick to Santorini. Pack the wings, stop, take it with you. Right. Come on. You can't pack food. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, I, I thought. Oh, uh, you yeah. jinxed. We, 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 <laughs> we, we fly on a regular plane. They gonna throw that Delta shit in the trash, Taylor, brother. brother. <laughs> <laughs> what about Emirates? They won't let you do it? No. 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 Yeah, you we gotta, gotta go fly TSA, Rose man. Air to get the TSA goddamn wing stop over there. No, we ain't private yet, man. 
We working on it. We is with no, the no, public. No, 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 no. You can't take the food on, on TSA. You just got to tell them it's medical use. Oh, medical use and they chicken wings. They're going to look at me and nigga. say, well, yeah. eat that shit right there before you go through these medical tests. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when you tell them. <laughs> and they going to tell me, sir, you need to take your stupid ass. That's how you they and your wings. I'm going to punch you out, <laughs> <laughs> These motherfucking chips is hitting. Hey, now, no, like now, you work with Jay a lot, man, and you know Jay Z is is you know is just, just the god, right man, there, man. You know, and it's like growing up listening to Jay, like Jay was so far ahead of his time in the in the the giving the game. You know, what I mean, I think that's so important. Like shit, he was talking about on the blueprint is happening now, but this was in 2001. So, like when you get in this, the booth with somebody of that caliber, do you feel like I, I'm I, I'm I'm obligated? to do some shit that's gonna last 20 years this time versus when you just go in the booth rapping? When you collaborate with Jay-Z, when you collaborate with Kanye, Nas, they do bring something different out. Mm -hmm. That's without a doubt. This is a moment, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This most definitely is a moment. Um, I find a way to enjoy it, because usually when I'm rapping with another nigga, it's all fun. Mm -hmm. You know, with they shit, okay, I see how it go. <laughs> you know, cause this shit, you know, and uh, niggas wanna do shit great, you know, great shit. And you you gotta honor that and respect that. What album was the most exciting to record though? Did he live? Like, which one was like, the one that had you the most lit? It's like, these motherfuckers can't wait. My nigga, I'ma be honest, it's hard for me to answer. And the only reason I'ma tell you that is because they all meant so much for Fast. different reasons. Fast. Port of Miami was your very first one. You, you always felt nothing could be more important than the first one. Debut. You've been waiting 15 years for this shit to happen. How could something ever be more important than this? Right, right. But then you, 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 you become successful with your first album, and then the new obstacle is Topping the pulling off two. Right. You feel me? Right. And so that, that approach is different. You do that. The third one is, you know, so I have fun deeper than rapping, so on and so forth. Teflon, Don, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Teflon. You know, Ooh. so it's just, but then you drink. we could have those man, debates. Man. We really what? could. Yeah. Teflon was off the chain. I mean, you know and, 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 and I like the way you followed time. up hustling with, with pushing it. Like, how did you know to come right back on their ass with them? You though? got to. Right. Man, just fuck it. Don't take the foot off the gas at all. Right. That motherfucker. Yeah. Let me use the restroom one time and I'm gonna take this jacket off. Let's right. yeah, go. Yeah, you can't. You Man, can't, you stay can't take, tuned. You can't take. You can't take your foot off for for that, nigga. <laughs> All gas. Oh, I'm talking about for life. I just had to tell the motherfucker. I said, maybe I can't. I can't be there for you, baby. I gotta go. You gotta grind. You gotta get up on my grind. You gotta get up on your what? I gotta get up on my grind. I gotta get up on my grind. I gotta get up on my grind. That's why I ain't got no damn time. Gotta get up on my grind. She wanna be dirty, dirty, and wanna kick me. I had to tell her, uh, I'm baby, I'm baby, please. She wanna get all in my face and wanna give me kiss. I told her, uh, girl, I'm gonna go and suck your dick. I said, baby, girl, give me one time just to go to your mind. I'ma ride you around. And if you ever forget that you can sit on my dick with if you need a lick, I come she on. She says she's gonna treat me proper, but look, yep. bitch, there goes a helicopter. Hey. I don't have time for your stupid ass games. I'm getting money in these streets every day. I ain't a lame. I remember I ain't had no bank accounts. I was waking up just going out the house. Out the house. Out the house. Out the house. <laughs> Ain't got nowhere to go. <laughs> so I walk back in the house and the dick is all about now I like. Where the fuck will be to go? <laughs> Ain't got nowhere to go. Joe, throw me a lighter, man. We so I walk back out the house. Oh, yeah, man. Out the house. Go and out the house. Ain't got nowhere to go. So I'm standing on the porch. Y'all walk back in the house. And I'm right back in the house. Y'all ain't got nowhere to go. So I'm standing on the porch. Y'all walk back in the house. And I'm right back in the house. Y'all ain't got nowhere to go. So I keep walking out the door. I'm the air. You know, Cap. You feel me? Man, what? Cause it's a real smooth groove, man. This shit like an inspirational, motivational course right here, right Yo, now. Captain. You feel me? Yo, Colin Kaepernick. 
There's a, it's a lot of game being laid down. A whole lot of it. You better pick something up. Hey, these motherfuckers hitting though. Ain't no hell no bitches hitting. I hit that nigga three times for real. Oh, goddamn. Look at me. In the inbox, like, hey, what's the deal? I need some chips on the west side, on top of the hill. I made a plan. We see my shit. We read my shit. Let me see it back. Woo! Nigga, I seen it. On three occasions. I need me some chips, nigga. I'm trying to sell some chips. With the dip. You got if you hit them with what kind of flavor you get, I think you can just Man, jump that it off. Man, that picture will go on the west side. Boy, that go on the other west side. Come out with your own chip. I know, but man, that's the perfect. You already got the infrastructure in place. You already got the infrastructure. That's what I be trying to tell niggas like, bro, you already got the infrastructure. Let me just sprinkle it in. You sprinkle it in. Come out with your own chips, man. You know what I have? Barbecue baked beans. But that's what I'm saying. You already got the infrastructure to make the beans. Barbecue baked beans. Make the chips. Make the flavor. All you need is the face. <laughs> Nigga, then I had so many events. I be going to school. Nigga, I'm just dropping chips off. We really feeding the block. With, Literally. With chips. Man. With chips, man. <laughs> I am fucking the block up uh, with, with chips. chips. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. <laughs> what? Ones, Every like after school program sick. got this nigga. <laughs> In the crate. We got a whole bag of these, but, but. <laughs> we fucking them up. Fuck them cheese its nigga. Replace them with this shit. Been trying to get me some chips. What? You know how many kids? You know how many children? Every time I see kids, hey, fly. Hey, hey, you know what I got for you? Got a bag of chips for you. <laughs> Take these chips home, man. <laughs> Ooh, that what you did? No, you're gonna put some bigger rims on them. Oh, that's, I was just spitting them. Retarded. I can't find one. Nigga act like they don't be wanting to sell it to me. Every time I see one, I'm like, what's up? He like, man, you know what? I'm going to just keep it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. You want it? You want it? I'm going to keep it. I'm going to just keep it. I thought it was for sale. No. 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 I, I don't want to see how many people like it. No. No. They just want to see how many people would buy their car. No, thank you. I'm like, nigga, no, no, don't sell it if you ain't going to sell it. Yo, ain't gonna lie. I don't see it is I'm finna go to sleep, my nigga. Well, ain't gonna lie. Yo, ain't gonna lie. It's been like nine o'clock. Feel like two o'clock on the Hey. Yo, auntie had them titties out. Oh, I seen a lady with some big old titties the other day. I had told her, hey, little mama, come here, let me put them titties in my face. In she titties. said, hold up, these titties, they cost. I said, how oh, much they charge, girl, we don't know what charge. She said, 20 bucks. Hey, I give me some paper towel, man, look. and not the drink over. Cause I ain't the type of nigga to pay $20 to see no titties. <laughs> Would you let me hit it? I'd be a fit. Oh, oh, oh. And some chips. And some chips. And some chips. And some chips. And some chips with a little dip. Appreciate you, my boy. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, when I get married, I'm gonna be sipping on that Carlo Bernard, you dig? Everybody know what's happening. I tell yo, I took his bra, you dig? Boy, you man. You really know what's going on. Yeah. And I'm sipping this shit all up in my home. Man, your girl, whoa, man, she giving bone, man, she get what? Don't call her phone, cause I might just pick up and take a look. She got the hiccup, look. Ooh. She got the dick up. All in her throat, she got the hiccup. Ooh. I'ma tell you like this here, you don't really wanna fuck with me. I'm from the four my nigga, you don't really wanna fuck with me. Cause I'm more hey, from the ADD. Okay. Okay. Hey, thank you, yeah. but don't stop. Uh. Barely in this bitch, we gon' rock. Uh. DC got the black bottle, I got the blue one. Like I'm a pop uh. with the kids, uh. and I did. Uh. Everything that I said I won't did. Uh. And you see me in the motherfucking crib. Uh. And I'm sipping and I'm walking like this. Uh. Cause I'm drunk, and I don't give a fuck. Uh. I'm like, uh. I'ma do it off the top, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so stuck, but yeah. I'm back Ooh. in, got oh, fire though, <laughs> ain't gonna lie though, oh. the way the music going nowadays, get what, you ain't gotta say nothing, oh. hey, <laughs> the thing go pound, <laughs> and you ain't gonna say nothing, say, hey, we ain't gonna say, say nothing, <laughs> hold up, yeah, I swear on everything, god damn it, I hit my knee. Oh. <laughs> I hit his knee with the bottle. <laughs> Put this shit down. 
Oh! That shit dangerous. Oh! Now imagine them niggas. Woo! Summer came up. My knees be like, you keep trying me. What? Like a pickup or something? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. You tired? Yeah, they did. Yeah, the dip. That's how you dip. Yeah. And uh, that's funny here. Now you see him, now you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's funny here. Yeah. Well, yeah. That nigga just left. We ain't get no dip. All right, now. That nigga just came and left, man. What the fuck y'all asking? Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that nigga funny here, man. Hey, with that. Like, he, he in the van. What happened? Ryan, he's in the van. Oh, he already pulled off. Why the hell he just ain't say that? No, no. He good. I just found it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't the phantom of the opera, man. <laughs> <laughs> How you just disappear on a nigga like that? Like, we didn't even say bye. Like, we literally just, we, have, we really got turned up. We like, you about to come back. <laughs> Me and myself was a sign. He ain't gonna snap out of it. What the hell? Well, you know what? I'm gonna bring that shit up next time we speak. When I see him. Wait, like, man, what the fuck, what the fuck you say to me like that? Right. <laughs> what the fuck you say bye, man? You like, you, 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 you can say bye. I did. I saw him walk out. I thought he got him on some fresh air. Yeah. I didn't know he was, he was, he was coming back. Nigga wasn't coming back. I didn't know he wasn't coming back. I mean, I'm like, okay, yeah. baby, it's hot. I'm I went like, to the bathroom and changed his mind about all this shit. He was like, you know what? Fuck these niggas. <laughs> I'm like, it hot. Did it happen? God damn. I'll tell you one thing. From now on, that's how the fuck I'm leaving. <laughs> that was crazy. Good um, salute. Big salute, dude. Oh, thank you, baby. That nigga gone, man. I think we done bought his food. We done got, man. We got his book. We got his liquor. We got chips. We got everything. That nigga did all that. That nigga ain't say thank you. That nigga ain't say, all right, y'all, I got a flight. Y'all get the mic? Uh, that nigga still got the mic. Listen, listen, see what they, see what they talking about. Somebody following him to the airport. See what they talking about. No, uh, we're gonna keep this whole episode. You knew he wasn't coming back. Y'all gonna the same. Hey, stuff. hey, we're gonna pull up at the airport. Hey, all right, and that's a cut. Oh, 85 South. All right, all right, Ross. Ross gotta go. Ross, we need that mic. I'm mad at Cat. That nigga, that nigga Cat ain't got a helicopter. Talking all that private nigga shit. Cat the mic, that nigga you're a commercial too, motherfucker. You just gonna project in this motherfucker. Either. You ain't even no private, nigga. You a commercial, nigga. Man, I fought wrong, man. Damn, man. You just left, man. You was just right there. He was having a good time. He laughed, he went back, and then he popped up, he was gone. <laughs> This nigga do magic. Yeah, we're gonna do one. We're just gonna act like. We're just gonna be like, man, what if Rick Ross came? Right. Right. That'll do it. They just pop up. I'm like, bro. Yeah, let's do that shit. That shit be lame. Right. Yeah, this shit up here. Right. Take all the chips and everything, the book and everything. Eat these goddamn chips. I had to eat these motherfucking chips. I ate them. I ate them because I thought it was free. Hold up. 
<laughs> Give me that liquor, man. Huh? Thank you. We need to get Chad to smoke a blunt, man. Man, smoke a blunt. Somebody tell me be quiet. Literally, unzip that motherfucker. He was like, I'm gonna be for y'all to be quiet. Nigga, I kicked that nigga tent. You gonna shut the fuck up, nigga? Fuck around. Nigga, it was, when we just pulled up, it was an old homeless nigga conducting traffic like he really was supposed to be out there, motherfucker. Hey, all right, young blood, make move to the left, move to the left, move to the right. He had on the vest and everything, but the vest said Warriors game on the back. <laughs> Hey man, who should we get to come through this motherfucker? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. That'll be a lot. It's a lot of people mm. I want to talk to. Man. Who you think would come through? Stevie Wonder. You think Stevie Wonder? I want to talk to Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder, Wonder. 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 Wonder got to watch this shit. Stevie Wonder watched this shit. He, he, listen, he, listen, he, listen, he listen, listen to it. He listen to it. He listen to it. I didn't want to say why. Yeah, I, when, right. I, when it said Wolf came out, I was like, I don't want to be the one to say nah, it. Nah, I'm just saying. You said, you know, I man. said, I was like, yeah. he's about high. He yeah, he do though. You know what I'm saying? Who else? He know about it. He know about it. Oh. Man. We should have had Chris come. He was watching it, doing their basketball. Yeah, when they playing their band basketball. Yeah, Chris. Chris, Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She didn't get 50 coming to the mall. 50 cent? Yeah, yeah. Hell no. Hey, you know, we should get the Breakfast Club to come do our shit like we be going to do their shit. Angela Yee, DJ and yeah, me and Angela Yee. And, and Lenard McElvey. You know what I mean? I'm telling you. Uh, they, get, uh, they had the happy 11 year anniversary. Anniversary, yeah. Oh, so we yeah. Shout, out the the Shout out to the Breakfast Club. Shout out to the Breakfast Club. You know what I mean? You know who we should get on him? Who? I'm gonna be on him. Keep. I ain't even care. Who? He just dropped that. Who? Y'all think Ross pull up? Hell no. Nah. And Ross ain't coming for that. Ross pull up on that one. Man, you think he'll pull up in a bit? Too much going on. Like, too much money, too much that. Yeah, man. I seen it. It was the glove. Yeah. He, he wouldn't do this. He, he wouldn't come. You right, man. Yeah. He wouldn't pull up. Nah. That's crazy. You know what I mean? We ain't got no wing stop or nothing. You know why? Why I even thought of that? Uh, that should be crazy. Though. That should be crazy. That should be crazy. Y'all hear that outside? What's that? I don't know. Somebody's outside. You gonna go see what it is? You know me. I grabbed the pistol. All right. Oh, that was just her oh, okay. phone. Oh, my bad. All, All right. right. Well, ain't nobody outside, so, uh... Ain't nobody gonna pull up on us tonight. Oh, thanks. We ain't got nobody to pull up on us tonight, do we? It's nah, just us. All right. Why didn't y'all tell us to come to work today, man? I could've stayed at the house, man. No, man, fuck that, man. I'm tired. We all tired. All right, we gotta put in the work. That right. Yeah, that's what it is. Come on. Get on the man. Let's do it. Pop this shit off in here. Hey, man, the dude who painted that picture, auntie got some big titties. For real. <laughs> It would be you to know that fact. Cause she left a comment, she was like, look at my nephew you painting. I was like, look at her. <laughs> look at her auntie titties, that what you did? Damn. That's not me, I don't give a fuck who that is. That, that is, is you, that's, you. that's, that's you. you. Now, that, that ain't you. <laughs> that one, that one that's ain't you. That's you. That's you. That's you. That's you. That's you. That one, that one, that ain't. That ain't that ain't for the crook, motherfucker. That's you. We ain't gonna put that one out. I ain't do. I don't know what's wrong with my lips on that. Man, one. fuck that, man. Y'all stuck like, that shit. Like cousin Skeeto, though. Yeah, I know, right? It got a a lip mask. It's just a COVID you know, mask just cover your lips. We gotta get. He painted that around Halloween, y'all. We gotta get Missy Elliott to come. Hell yeah. Gotta get Missy Elliott and Erica Badu. He, and, he, the he and the Brat. And the Brat. And the Brat. Yep. And Kiki Palmer. Yep. Definitely gotta get Kiki. And Simone Biles. Little Mama. Mm -hmm. Little Mama. <laughs> we gotta ask her why did she go up there and and say that shit on the mic. I don't want to know why. Why did you do that? What? We should get Lil Mama and Lil Bow Wow right. at the same time. It is, that's impossible. No, it ain't. You, yes. you can't get Not them at the same time. We should do They've it. never been in the same Not place the at the same time. We, we can get, get Lil Mama and Bow Wow at the same time. That's, that was, that, we do that, we the greatest of all what? time. We get Lil Mama and Lil Bow Wow what? and get together. That, you ain't gonna be able to what? do that. Just, we gotta get Dave's Loaf. Dave's Loaf gotta come too. Yeah, Dave's Loaf gotta definitely gotta come. Yep. We gotta get dirt. Little dirt. You gotta get future on that bitch. Yeah, hell yeah. You gotta get future on that bitch. You gotta get future hell on yeah. that bitch. Hell yeah. We already had chains and, already. you know what I mean? It's, yeah, we gotta get already future. Already tip. Tip. Yep. A lot of people on them on. We yeah. gotta get Barack on that bitch. Hell Obama. yeah. Man, he gotta come in and pop his shit. He can come shit. now because he ain't president no more. I man. want him to come after he done did some shit. I want him to already be presidential drunk when he get here. Right. <laughs>
Like oh. him and Michelle had a little function they had to go to. <laughs> and he been sipping. I'm yeah. talking about, I want him to come Not in. Not in the there. suit. I want him to come in one Ty of them old niggas, mm -hmm. old tight nigga top. velour sweatsuits. Walk one in that. talking loud, nephew! Right. <laughs> Turn this motherfucker on. <laughs> Bill Clinton, too. That'd be dope. Bill? I don't think he'll come. You don't think Bill will come? I don't think Bill will come. He's not as a motherfucker, but he can come. <laughs> Bill funny as hell. You know, I watch you guys a lot. <laughs> Me and, I get here, me, and, be watching you me and Hillary all the time. <laughs> huh? Hillary. It's Hillary. gonna sound crazy, but I think we might be able to pull it out. Mm. All three of us are gonna have to put our superpowers together. What's that? Madonna. I don't, I don't know. After uh, she getting over one that, yeah. That's what I'm saying. She definitely can pull up, but Bria. She looking I'm for making, a way I'm to get back in, in the culture, man. Yeah. I yeah. think Madonna, Oprah. Oprah. Nigga. And Gail. She probably gonna want some incense in this bitch. She ain't gonna come Yeah, we ain't gonna better smoke with Oprah. Yeah. You don't need we to. Might. We might. You she, never know. She we might, might come here and fix this bitch up for us. <laughs> <laughs> never before I ain't started. And I you get, get, get a studio. You get a You get a studio, <laughs> get a studio <laughs> man. <laughs> Over come through here and bless her. You know how funny that is. Because she going to make everybody cry. I know. You know how funny that is. That's thing. If Oprah come and she just come start moving our furniture out and bringing her own shit in, like, God. 11 white dudes walk through this motherfucker with power drills and rebuild the whole goddamn set. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You ain't touching this furniture, Oprah. You can do everything else. This furniture got to stay. Shit. You crazy as well. Man, you going to sit your stanky boot ass right here. You can do whatever you want to do to this shit. This couch is, everybody want to sit on this couch. Who else, this man? Who else? A lot of motherfuckers, man. Who is some actors? Who you just Denzel? You gotta get. You gotta get. Hey, which one? Samuel L. Jackson. What about the, the short came motherfucker? Came out on the version, name? so oh. we definitely can get him to come What's in. What's the short motherfucker name? Don Cheadle. The short motherfucker, man. Danny yeah. DeVito. No, man. I don't want to call him the M word. Who? Don't say it. I ain't gonna say the M word, but what's the little nigga name, man? Gary oh, Coleman. Oh, well, he did. Oh, like Gary Coleman, the other one. Oh, oh, what? The one who was sitting Todd on what's it called? Uh, Todd Bridges. Emmanuel Lewis. Emmanuel Lewis, man. We gotta get Emmanuel Lewis on that motherfucker. What, what you wanna ask Emmanuel Lewis? I don't know. I'm doing this. Look at the nigga, man. Nigga grown in here. That nigga grown in here. That nigga older than you, man. That nigga older than you, man. Grown in here, man. Cause I always fuck with Emmanuel Lewis, bro. Him and Gary Coleman, bro. Man, grown as fuck, man. Look at that nigga, man. That nigga funny. <laughs> this nigga said Emmanuel Lewis, yeah. my nigga. Right, Emmanuel Lewis funny here. He ain't never been funny y'all. <laughs> yeah. Emmanuel yeah. yeah. Lewis yeah. funny here. <laughs> you gotta get a lot of motherfuckers. We gotta get a lot of people on this bit. Damn, who else? Who else? We gotta get Tyrese here. We ain't tripping. <laughs> Tyrese would be good. Tyrese be good. Uh, Man, we gotta get Mike Tyson come through here. Oh, hell, hell yeah. yeah. Hell, and I got him going yeah. on his podcast too. He go crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Mike Tyson. We gotta get Boosie. Evander Holyfield. Boosie, Boosie, man. Man, this, that's, everybody want Boosie on him, motherfucker. Come on, man. Where you at, man? Project Pat. Man, we uh, gotta get Pat on this motherfucker, man. Pat on I seen this Pat, Pat in the airport. That nigga, me and Pat talked about 30 minutes. I was like, no, nigga, no yeah. Care. Yeah, nigga, yeah, Project Pat. Juicy man. J. Juicy J. And whole three Busy ball. We might well go get Crunchy balls. Black. Busy ball. Got to get crunchy. I fuck with crunchy. All his all him interviews be lit. Yeah. He be telling me Busy truth, ball. Bro. Busy ball. That nigga Crunchy said. almost made me cry. On one of his interviews, man, he was, he was speaking real heartfelt about something. About like, Lord Infamous. Man, I already know what you were yes, talking about. Yeah, nigga, I'm sitting at the computer. all like, Lord Infamous, man. man. That, that, that shit was sad man. as fuck, man. Rest in peace, Lord Infamous. Busy, but busy, we got to get busy, busy bone. Man, that nigga cut him off. And he was like, look, you ugly motherfuckers. You, you ugly, ugly motherfuckers ain't going to be mocking me while I'm up here doing my thing on this stage. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said, you ugly motherfucker. The way... <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the way he said that shit, my nigga, right. that nigga, nah, he said, hold up, hold up, before we even get started, you ugly motherfuckers ain't gonna be mocking me while I'm up here doing my thing. Man, this, man. that nigga busy, stupid, bro. <laughs> but the funny part is that right. after they cut the cameras out, that nigga lazy said, man, why y'all do that? Why y'all do that? I was like, that was real, man. When the oh, nigga got to say, why y'all do that? That's when a nigga did fuck some shit up. <laughs> man, why y'all do that, man? <laughs> fuck, man, I counted this money already. Why y'all do that? You man, know what them folks fuck, say. Man. <laughs> why y'all do that shit? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Bro, you a man, bro. 
Bruh, that was the realest shit of the whole verse. <laughs> when that nigga said, man, why y'all do that? I said, no, man, man he's fuck that money up, bro. my nigga. You done already man. bought you a car and all that. Them niggas do that shit. Do why y'all do that? <laughs> bro, I'm mad, at, I'm mad as fuck. I felt that nigga, bro. That nigga, that nigga yelled that shit. Man, man. why y'all do that? Bro. I say, man, damn, why did they do that, lazy? Man, man. Huh? Ugly motherfucker. <laughs> you ugly motherfuckers ain't gonna be mocking me while you I'm not, doing you my. Not. But you not. He throw the mic. He yeah, he threw, the, mic. Nah, he threw yeah. the water bottle because the juice. The juice was like somebody. Some motherfucker take my. What? what? <laughs> take him off. Hey man. No. <laughs> you got somebody. <laughs> yeah. That nigga got that big bottle of milk. That nigga motherfucker. <laughs> Nigga like shook the water bottle up like it was like the motherfucker was acting. You see DJ Paul up there, boy. DJ Paul stood tall. That nigga was up there like the hill. I'm like, but you think he hit me that bottle of water, but you think? Bro, you know how DJ Paul, how hard Paul probably hit with that one regular size hand, bro. That nigga clean your whole. I mean, I'm you talking see, about. You see, you always take shit too no, far. No, I'm saying, bro, you know that nigga. Ain't gonna lie. That nigga got DJ whatever Paul, hand, whether it's the DJ left Paul or the right. Had two niggas came straight for them niggas, boy. They yeah, niggas, if he hit you one time, it's gonna be get like getting hit by three niggas. But well, I don't know why y'all acting surprised, that. man. They, this shit didn't happen at every single three six mile. Your show ever, man. It's just a we gotta tradition. have all that on here. We gotta have whole three six marvel. But then that's the thing, you gotta keep the shit going too. though, man. Fuck it. You ain't gotta be on there fake liking like you like somebody. But no, that's just how you we got, just show yeah. love. Like that's it's just, aggression. Like that's just two goddamn that's just rap two dude. alpha yeah. males going at it one time and then you just saw him say, alright, we'll check him out. Yeah. Them niggas might go do four albums now. Right. Yeah. Everybody really to. family. That's just how it's Them niggas known each other for 20 plus years. See, bro. that's the thing though. We gotta also show. Even though we may have a disagreement, we got to show that us fucking with each other is going to override all that shit. Like, yeah, y'all went crazy at us throwing them all the water and doing that stupid shit. But when we really said, what's I, right, we were tripping. You my brother. You ain't post that a lot like you post the water bottle. Right. But you see what I'm saying? So they don't really be giving a fuck like that. But we see the love and we want to show y'all and let y'all know that we appreciate y'all. Yeah, y'all bring that back together. All the way. It was, and it was entertaining. That shit was entertaining. That shit was entertaining, man. Yeah. Ain't gonna lie. You fuck me all You gotta at least get to arguing. That's how you know the music good. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with a little goddamn arguing. Yeah, that means there's passion involved. Right. Yes, sir. Ain't nobody get hurt. Who's that? Who's nothing but love? That's how we show love at the barbecue. Right. Yeah. Now the party really lit. Now the party lit. Now we lit. Yeah. Everybody was still sitting there like this. Man, play the rest of that shit. Uh, right. After okay. five minutes, they were like, man, go get busy, Bone. Fuck this shit. Yeah. Ain't nobody mad. <laughs> Nigga Busy was in the back, getting his, getting his mind right. He came back out, and they came back out. They shook hands, and then kept the show going. I was like, yeah, that's Pardon what you do. Way to make sure. I don't want to fuck sure this shit up. You don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't. You don't, bro. You don't want to be the nigga to fuck that money up, man. You definitely don't want to be the nigga. Why y'all do that? I can't wait to apologize just like that. Pardon me. I don't mean to fuck this up. Yeah, you know, this little organ, you know, this little gathering we got. My bad. I was, you know, I was tripping. Yeah, we got a lot of motherfuckers we got to get on here, man. 2022, we going to take it to the next level, nigga. We getting all types of motherfuckers, man. You got to get Gooch on that motherfucker. Hell yeah. Who walk? Who walk? Who walk? All the way. Motherfuckers on that bitch. Jada Kiss, nigga. The lock. Gotta get them. You know what I mean? All them type of niggas, man. I get loot on that motherfucker. Hell yeah. You got to do all them little stupid ass ass out. Yeah. You got to do that. I don't think he's gonna do none of them. Black stop. I really don't. When yeah, you think he passed right. that shit? I think so. <laughs> you think he passed that? Yeah. Shit. You must have heard the Luda verse. I oh, have. Yeah. I know all the Luda verse. Bullshit, for real. Man, I used to ride to school listening to Luda every Luda morning. Luda Crazy, you one of my favorite rappers. That nigga can rap, man. That nigga can rap. That nigga can rap. Fuck. What you talking I'm talking about it's entertaining. Like, it's uh. substance from the beginning to the end, and you like, okay. He carried a song. Like, this might not be a hit song, but I can listen to this song every day because it's talking about something. Yeah. It's a song. I'd rather listen to this than rather listen to the, to the con and shit that y'all think is a hit. Right. My hits are different than what y'all think. And they got a anyway. song called Move, Bitch, Get Out the Way. 
And that right there. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, uh, well, you should be a scary ring. Boo, bitch. Get out the way. Do, mm. do. Mm. Get out the way. Boo. What in the world is in that bag? What you got, got in, in that, that bag? bag? A couple of cans of whoop ass. You did a good ass job of just eyeing me, spying me. Yeah. Yeah. That nigga had some cans of whoop ass in his bag. <laughs> Music had purple wonder love in here. Shauna, ludicrous. Shauna was fine. Yeah. Shauna was cold. Was right what do you mean, was? She, I'm about to say, you see her now? She still is fine. Chicago. She was. That's that uh, Chicago was finest right there. Uh, 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 uh. I don't think fine women get enough appreciation. Especially you don't, especially not. It, now they, they ain't got done it be the same ones over and over again. Like I feel like it's some regular women who like not not like regular, but women who aren't known yet. Right. That are finer than these motherfuckers who we think are finer. But you gotta find them. We gotta find them. That's a that's a show it's right fine. there. Find, find a dime. Find a dime. Find, find and dime or find and find. Ooh, find and find. Going around the world, find and find women. Yeah. Count me in. You know what I mean? Just find and find. We go to city to city and just go to the, the most chain, random right. places and find and find. Temperature ain't right for that one. Temperature ain't right. Find you said the temperature ain't right? We we'll have to wait two years. Let Why? things cool down oh, a little yeah, bit. Oh, yeah, because shit get ugly. Shit is, shit is fucked up. I mean, but you ain't going to get in trouble for just finding. <laughs> you just find it, my nigga. But then we be looking like perverts because we out there seeking it. See? And we just jot it down. You, you, know, gotta you, just got let, that you just got to let it happen. <laughs> Let's go to the next spot. See? Who's over here? Then <laughs> why y'all do that? Hey, like, what this you how doing? you pitch. This how we gonna get this shit. I got a notepad right. full of women. It's just a notepad full of women. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they just gonna have to find us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we gonna, that, look too, that look too perverted. Yeah. yeah. Is that two years? Yeah. That I'm sense. telling you, man. Some motherfuckers can got fine. Now that's, that's true. Now that's the thing, man. Some, Some of them lost it's motherfuckers getting fined every day, and then because they ain't appreciated. Right. They, they thought they was gonna be fine, fine forever. Now, what, what makes you think that a woman that lose fine? What you think is the biggest motivating factor in that? Do you think it's because they she got, got it too she, early she, and they're appreciated? She ain't got nobody that is telling her oh. she's fine. I'm telling you, that's missing a lot when a, a nigga is there telling a woman she's beautiful, she's fine, she's gorgeous. You gotta speak she, life into her. You gotta, right. you gotta tell her so she can see that what she thinks she ain't seeing. Look, a nigga seeing that. You see what I'm saying? Like, you don't know what you look like, bitch. You just see yourself in the mirror. You, right. you think that. I'm telling you what I see. You fine. You trying to look at some shit in a suit. Girl, fuck all that. You already fine. What you, Is what that you a think? poem, nigga? You already fine. You already you fine. You already fine. Girl, are you blind? Are you blind? Cuz. You, you are, are already fine. fine. Don't pay no mind. Don't look behind. Because you are already fine. You were born a seven, but you trying to be a nine. Uh uh-uh. uh. Stop trying so hard. Cause you, you are already ready. fine. You are already fine. You don't have to purchase no behind. Uh huh. Because you are already ready. fine. Uh uh-uh. uh. Stop looking at other people's shit, bitch, and be that six. You are already fine. fine. I don't care if you got big titties in a flat behind. I'm more interested in what's in your mind. Mm-hmm. Cause you are already ready. fine. Uh huh. Even if you don't got no ass or no titties, at least your toes pretty. You are. Already ready. fine. Yes, and even though you may not be black, uh-uh, you are not my kind. You are already fine. fine. I'm not gonna tell you about the flaws in your skin. We're not gonna go through this again. Uh-huh. You are already fine. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I know you are flexible. Look, I love your eczema. You are already ready. Fine. When I'm with you, I feel like I'm taking off to a comet. Girl, give me head in that bonnet. You are all ready. ready. Fine. Fine. Yeah. I want to say everything and make sure it ain't nothing I leave out. I'm fucking with you even when you take your weave out. Uh-huh. You are all ready. Fine. Yes, even though I have to look within, sometimes I hate your lace front skin. You, you are all ready. <laughs> Fine. You could have been a top tier actress, but you sleeping on an air mattress. It's okay, cause I'm gonna lay here with you today because you are all ready, fine. 
I would agree with that. Yikes, but I can't because I'm wearing spikes. You <laughs> are ready. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> She stayed by herself because her mama done kicked her out. She looked good, but looked better with her. And a, yeah, see, that's it. I be taking shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you just bad. did that. I know what you did. Yeah, that's that YJ. Yeah, yeah. Up, oh, goddamn. Up, oh, uh, damn. See. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Told the bitch yesterday she looked. Uh, yeah. Told the bitch yesterday she looked like. Damn. damn. Told the bitch yesterday she looked like she's sick, but she's really good. <laughs> damn, man. Hey, man. How do people come on this bitch, though? I want to get my old principal on that bitch. Oh, that's a gr man. That'd be great, bro. Grill that nigga like, so hard, but right, I'm gonna grill his ass. I'm gonna grill his ass. I'm gonna be on here grilling. I'm like, why you kick me out? <laughs> why, why you really? You you started all the bullshit. You you you, you ain't seen me do none of this. You ain't seen none of that potential. Why did you uh, put me on the street and go see a crack, man. motherfucker? Huh? The principal don't know no better. Man, that nigga looked me in my eyes and told me, man, he said, I would let you back in my school, but I don't like competing over my school. I'm not competing with nobody to have control over my school. So you can't come in here. He said, you were disrupting the learning process. I wasn't disrupting. I didn't know the type of influence I had. But he did, and he could have spoke that into you instead of... No, you I just that persuaded a lot of people to don't do shit if we didn't, if yeah, we didn't you had feel to get like the fuck we didn't want to do it. You had to go. We didn't yeah. want to do it. <laughs> you had to get the fuck out of there. Nigga, let me practice with the band the whole week, bro. Just to tell me on Friday, he ain't want to let me in. I'm like, bitch, I done practice with the weekend band for a whole week. That'd be you could have told me Monday. I want to get my first supervisor from Whole Foods in here, nigga. For real? Yeah, nigga. Abdullah, nigga. Abdullah. Abdullah, nigga. That nigga was mean as fuck. Mm -hmm. African nigga. This nigga used to make me go and get carts from other stores, nigga. Steel like, carts? No, not, no, get the carts. It was a Staples and a, uh, what was the other store? It was another store. Uh -huh. So I'm only responsible for the Whole Foods carts. Right. He was like, the other carts are making the parking lot look negative, so get those out of the way, too. I'm like, they got somebody supposed to do that shit over there. Right. Do what I say. I'm like, man, that's <laughs> He nigga, said, do what I said. said. Nigga was mean as a motherfucker. I don't want to talk to that. I'm nigga. not bringing nobody on here. I used to work with. Why? Hell yeah. yeah, no. You don't fuck with me like that? No, it's just that. ain't one co worker you had, you and one come sit down. I ain't even had no job like that, so I ain't got Oh, no man. The dude, when I used to work at, uh, at the Sporting Goods spot, the African dude, he used to wear like a, you know, like a, a, a vest that come with a, a tuxedo rental. Yeah. Uh, he got on his regular work clothes, but then he got the vest on the top of it. <laughs> you true. With some of them big ass, like, um, the boots that they wear at the crazy white people concert. Oh, the big, big platform boots? boots. Isaac. Why y'all keep working with Africans, bro? They they work. was, he was working there before. Yeah, they was, yeah he was Abdul. I was a supervisor. That, they got jobs. That's what they're going to do. Y'all ever went to a temp service? Yeah, I love yeah. temp yeah, service. Don't, don't get comfortable with that. that nah, because the temp service. Temp service do shit like they'll send you to a job and then they'll send you to another job and then they'll send you to another job all in the week and expect you to remember what the fuck they sent you to. Right. And they're like, you know you gotta work tomorrow and hang up and then you gotta try to figure out what the fuck they talking about. Of the three places that you done went, yeah. you fucked around, show up at the wrong job. Right. Yeah, I liked him, Eddie. So that was my summer hustle when I was in school. Yeah, because if you don't like the job, you could just call them and tell them to get yeah. you the job. Yeah, you know, man. Georgia was like, but. We give you what we give you, get the fuck out of my face. And the job might be going out of business, so nigga, you might work the whole two weeks, job gone. Dang, you ain't getting paid, job, you don't know what, you don't know nothing. Those codes, nobody told you about nothing. You call them temp agents, they like, what, nigga? You gonna get your bitch ass back in line, try to figure this shit out. We're gonna give you another job. I don't know if that was a temp agency you face. was working for. You like, you damn, were, boy, you being an adult in heart and fuck, You were just working bro. with a nigga Nobody that had some Never talk about that. Uh, bro, being an adult was hard, uh, That nigga bro. got to hold of some emails. That wasn't no real temp bro, service. I'm that ain't his bro, mother, baby, do you like job, that? Bro, it was so hard for me to get a job, bro. I would try and try. And them folk were like, bro, Get the fuck out my face, man. The hey, man, what's the worst part about being an adult? Why you want to work so much? Adult? Get out my face. What's the worst part about being an adult? Bro, now it's just the bills. I'm trying to get less and less bills. <laughs> Every day, I'm like, fuck, I got another bill. Shit. It's another fucking bill. How the fuck that come about? Fuck, bill. Every time you look up, ah, bill, shit. 
This somebody else's problem. I don't want your bill. Fuck. Hey, these motherfuckers so bold too. They'll what? tell you what you owe them next month. <laughs> bitch, how much? How you know how much I'm gonna use? Pandemic. When right. the pandemic hit, the nigga was talking about the government sending them money. I'm still paying bills. Nigga, Georgia Power was like, bitch, I don't give a fuck if you ain't work. Your lights was on. Pay me. Right. Man, I don't I was, like when the government send me I, money. I feel like it's a trap. I'm it like, is a uh-uh. trap. I don't want none of y'all. This back. None of y'all. Go on, get it back. Yeah. I know you gonna want it back. Yeah, Go on, get it like that. Back. No, man, fuck it with it. What Take money? your little fucking money. money back, get man. Your money. I know how you is. Get your money. I know money. how you is. Don't need nothing. Don't need nothing. He ain't even gonna tell you he took it. Go ahead, man. You just ain't even open them weak ass shit. You just gonna wake up and it's gone. They trying to put it in your pocket. Uh huh. Get that shit gone. Get that shit. You gonna wake up and he got access to your accounts. You ain't got. Come on, man. No, take that little weak ass money back, man. And then they talking about it ain't even worth falling out with you about that little chain. Then they talking about what they doing. They giving the uh the the forgive away. What they talking about? The forgiveness. The forg. Man, they ain't never forgave up for shit we yeah, ever did. Yeah, no, no, them motherfuckers hateful and spiteful. They don't know how to forgive. But what? Forgive no, what? They don't know how to let nothing go. We never let something go. Never? Uh, never. Where was your head? Hell no. I'm talking about forgave you. No. Let me come get your ass, nigga. <laughs> about being an adult, bruh, is the hustle, man. This shit a big ass hustle, and you don't really, you think you want the hustle. You think you want it when you young until you get up and realize all this shit a hustle. Like, nigga, I pay for health insurance and then go to the doctor and gotta pay to go to the doctor. It's like, nigga, you gotta co-pay, and then after you co-pay, they say you another bill. Look, man, you were sick, but we only covering 13% of your sickness, nigga. The rest is on you. Yeah. You're like, bro, what the fuck do I have insurance for? I realized I had some health insurance, and my prescription was like $200. With my health insurance, it only took about $10 off. I said, I don't need that insurance. Yeah, okay, you watch this no, shit. No, I don't. You know the biggest scam out of all this shit? What? Car insurance. Yeah. Talk your shit. Because if you fuck around and use your car insurance, they're going to be like, nope, we ain't fucking with you because you made us have to do something. Right. You'd have been paying these motherfuckers for 99 months straight. Off of one accident. You paying your rate that went from 150 for eight months, nigga. Now you got to pay 15,000 for a policy. (laughs) You like, nigga. Now, if somebody hit you, now. And make your shit go up. They like, yeah, we we, see, we saw you was in an accident last, so you know we need about nine thousand just to cover your car for this these six months. Right. I'm like, but they hit me. I know, but you know, you, you shit. It's a scam. You know, yeah. You're giving out some money. You know, All this shit you know, is, is a scam. scam. Security deposits. Security from what? From what? Like, yeah, yeah, your total is 500, but we gonna put a 200 security deposit on. What is that securing? Ain't nothing in this bitch worth $200, but you need to put 200 extra dollars on my card. But people, do get you some financial literacy. Don't be doing no stupid shit. Put that money up. Hey man, Make that money I don't know what the fuck wrong with this, these people making up all this stupid ass shit. Just don't believe everything you hear. Make your money and work for you, nigga. It's hard to do that when you, when you making your money work for you, and then you like people like you said bills, bro. People wake up and then they get paid, and then they look at their account, and then that automatic draft start coming out, and you start to see your shit just go down, so down, take baby. Automatic draft off. You gotta take automatic draft off, but then you take automatic draft off, you gonna forget, you and to. then and then they gonna come automatically drafting anyway. <laughs> That's why you gotta pick and choose what you gonna do in life. You gonna be an automatic nigga, or you gonna be a I pill when I see it. Ah man, go on, take it. Yo, I'm not finna go back and forth. But y'all, y'all gotta have, y'all gotta live by like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta live to a certain mean that you can get comfortable. Don't overdo it. You feel me? Like some people is. You ain't got no cable, but you got all these subscriptions. Bitch, you got cable, bitch. That's the same money you thought you was not saving. You still spend it. You feel me? So you gotta have some financial literacy and not just be spending, spending, spending just cause you see it, see it. See, nobody ever speaks on financial ignorance. Uh huh. Yeah, you, you see, we tried to teach you niggas financial literacy. You didn't like that shit. <laughs> Let's just speak on financial, financial ignorance. ignorance you more damn minute. motherfucker. Uh, let's talk about things that we no longer need to spend money on as uh, niggas. Nigga, this is just the nigga list. Uh, yeah, yeah. You feel free to come up with your own list now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I know a nigga to get food stamps and still go out to eat. Like, nigga, that's a what, boy? What's wrong with you? You got a house full of groceries, First man. First of all, that's a selfish nigga. That's a selfish nigga, that's bro. That's a retarded nigga. Up all the way. You already done got food for half over, and you went and spent food for which, with all the money? With the, uh, with the real money. With the real money. Now you're not only are you breaking even, but you're cheating yourself. You cheating are yourself. dumb as fuck. Yep. Well, man. We got to stop spending money on this coochie. On this coochie. <laughs> I think it should Bottom be Bottom line. Directly. It should be free. Bottom line. Direct to consumer spending. But it's it, not can't. yours to determine. Yes, yeah. it's up to her. The market of coochie is up just like everything right that now. It ain't never going down. Coochie right up there with Bitcoin. It fluctuates. Yeah. It I'm fluctuates. You, nah, coochie don't never fluctuate. It fluctuates. The market fluctuates. It coochie fluctuates. stays the same. Listen, listen. Coochie to me. is the hedge fund. It yeah, it, is. it don't go nowhere. It fluctuates. Sometimes it need a break. Trust me. I ain't gonna fluctuate. I'm telling you, man. Especially in this time like this. Look at me. I, I can't believe that a lot of women haven't uh, like cornered the market of men who are, will spend money on them who don't even know them. I'm talking about they done went crazy. They done mastermind that shit. Yeah. I'm a freebie, so they be looking at me like, you a pawn. I'm like, damn. It's a paywall. Yeah, no yeah. Well, I tell you, when it comes to that, I got a security deposit in my hand. Before I ever pay for some guy, I will use my security deposit. I'll pay a little 40. Get, <laughs> and get I'll pay a little 40. All of the, That's of crazy. The, um, Don't the, do that. The, the, the unnecessary. Don't do that. Don't do none of that. I ain't paying shit. You a hell of a nigga. You shouldn't have to. I don't know if do that. I mean, but you are. Uh, you spend no anyway. If you it's not paying, if you, I'm just you just, it's you just you direct to consumer. You take a bit to time listen, calls bitch, money. I don't want to go to the you movies. Know what I mean? That's the game. You didn't eat before you get over here. It's not my problem. That's listen, part of the game, though. Let's get this out the way. However, she can disguise it. Yeah, it's, it's so you don't feel like a customer. Uh, like That's the direct game. to consumer. That's the charade. Yeah. We are being used, fellas. They want the same thing that we want from them. A fucking nut. Let's get up out of here. Let's go. Nah, no, but it's got to be an exchange. Yeah, it does. It has see, to be some energy. He always say, see, how a woman feel about their culture, that's how a man feel about his money. Right. Same thing. They have a relationship, though. But, I, you know, if you want to keep getting broke, Coochie, that's on you. That's right. I'm, I'm just saying, it's le like it's levels to everything. Level. Broke Coochie, that's, that's like eating a bag of chips. If you got some Coochie with a few dollars behind it, that's like sitting down with home-cooked meal. Yes. Yeah, it's... Sometimes chips hit the spot, though. That's the yeah, crazy you part. Want some I don't chips. mind a little honey bun. I take honey bun. A little pecan swirl. A little pecan swirl. Don't that stick. I take the donut stick. Bag of chips, my nigga. Them motherfuckers. Yeah. Man, that chip was busting, my nigga. I wouldn't eat hungry like that. I don't want to listen up. I don't want to listen up. Hey, man. Little coochie come with a lot of problems. We'll ask a reef look. That cool. Okay. Well, I don't think I like you ain't full of real coochie. That's, what I, that's how I'm telling you that uh, I know. Oh, no, you hurt? Broke? No. Oh, I'm just letting you know. Broke coochie just like playing the scratch off, man. You might hit, man. You might not. Might get, but ain't nothing wrong with a free ticket. But it, it is. You have to keep playing. Get okay, what? You still in the game? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't out. You ain't, you ain't a loser. <laughs> I'm just saying broke coochie come with a unique set of problems. It do. A unique set of problems in what regard? What is a unique? What is the you problem always that, be fixing that broke? Shit. But not. But but what does uh, what you consider be, to be broke coochie come with that doesn't just involve dealing no with coochie in general? No I'm elevation. just saying like that mindset. No elevation. That that broke ass mindset. You got to really listen to that. That's enough to set a nigga off. Facts. Bunch of loud ass, incorrect opinions all day, every she day. See, they're wrong. See, and they're you, wrong. And you can't correct it because that's really what they believe. That's how they think. That shit is annoying. That's the first way, that's the first, that's the fastest way to stay broke, is to keep believing that a miracle gonna happen. But you are the miracle in certain senses. No. Nah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you no the cap. She you looking the, at that nigga like, you the can I get some bro. money? Bro? Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, you the blessing, you my nigga. I told you. You the blessing. I you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Straight up. You was here for me? See, then so what do you think the difference is, is when, uh, when, let's say, what's the difference between a broke a nigga dealing with a broke woman or a broke, a broke man dealing with a woman that got some money? What's she the, gonna have different expectations. She damn near gonna put that nigga in the game. Yeah, that's what I'm what saying, and oh, that's how she gonna gauge him. Is like, can he, can he at least be smart enough to take advantage of what's in front of him? Like, 
Are you just gonna lay up or are you gonna try to make something out of this shit? You said that you needed this. If I took you away from this shit and exposed you to this, that you would do this. But you was just talking and now it's like, okay. You don't even understand how to on? help yourself. To help, yeah. And it's rare that women like really right. get money and it's on like, their own. Yeah. No, and it's it like, ain't rare. No, it's, I'm saying, I'm saying rare when I'm saying like a nigga coming from the hood. I want to run into bitch that ever get money. But see, a nigga think right the bare minimum is really? being there. I love you. You know what I'm saying? A nigga think that she, the bare minimum she don't stay with is her just being there. Ooh, I love her. But you got to keep putting in motherfucking effort. Yeah. That's, but, that's but the separating. That's where the game get messed up at, because there's so many niggas out here pretending to be somebody they not, and then a girl that give you nah, all this energy. these niggas are pretending to be it, who they want to be. I mean, but nah, it's not even who they want to be. Yeah, it is. Card, if you don't, if you don't know who you are, you can't know who you want to be. Hey, they man. not. They living it's on they looking at They looking at everybody else's piece, and they just placing yeah. pieces and of their, like, other people's lives into one, A woman going to believe you the nigga you say you is until she know you not, and then everything you say before that is some bullshit and everything you say after that is bullshit. Exactly. And that just poisoned the game all the way around. You know what I mean? See, that's the crazy. You gotta have your own identity. You feel me? Yeah. What creates you is you. What's unique about you is you. What's unique about me is me. We ain't, we don't do nothing what we see from others and we try to do it. Now, if it's something that you do, it that motivates water, me. And, and motivational, I'm like, well, I ain't even gonna lie. That's that an idea. Yeah. Only, a, only a real nigga would do some shit like that. You know what? Let me carry that on to the next generation. Let me tell somebody what I just said that motivated me. I ain't looking at him like, ooh, I wanna do that. And then I'm doing some shit, but then you are knocking your, yourself off the pivot because that ain't even your steps. You gotta, you gotta follow your dream. You gotta, God got your own divine walk. But see, see this is the saying? thing about it. Like fundamentally, man, a lot of black people don't just love being black. And that's one thing that Say really was man. like, that changed over the years, man. It's like people have to start back enjoying and respecting being black. Because it's not, it's just not the same energy. No, they don't even like they skin. But when do you they think that like that changed? When do you think that, at least in this country, it was enjoyable to be black? They, they killed the whole be... movement of that. The whole civil rights movement got changed into a whole nother movement. It just redirected towards, but, it, it, it redirected towards each other. I mean, but do you think that, that they were enjoying being black or they were enjoying the idea of what it could be to be black? Nah, that's why they took all that shit away because everybody started enjoying being black too much. Entrepreneurship was crazy. Go back, look at the last, I feel like the shit kind of dropped off right after they made the movie. Dolomite. White man can't jump. White man can't jump. Yeah. The 90s? You think it was in the 90s? Just think about how much black ass shit was on TV. Every channel had three, four, five, six, seven black shows. All the way up to Homeboys in Outer Space, Malcolm and Eddie, uh, Hanging with Mr. Cooper, The Cosby Show, uh, Living Single, Martin. Every channel had all these black ass shows on there, right? And be, like the Wayans Brothers, the uh, the Robert Townsend, the Parenthood, like, nigga, they, you, like, that shit took over TV, man. It ain't just in your house, nigga. The whole country was watching this shit. You think white people wasn't sitting at home like, I don't want to watch no goddamn Steve Urkel tonight. <laughs> Why is it coming on before Tim the Two Man Taylor? You know how many angry letters they got? Take this monkey shit off! <laughs> why? Tell me why he's now. coming on before Tim the Two Man Taylor. Why have to look at Carl Winslow's black ass one more time? <laughs> why he's coming on before Tim the Two Man Taylor? Why is he on before Tim the Two Man Taylor? <laughs> <laughs> That is hilarious, bro. Look up now. You can't no even care. find black TV shows on fucking BET. I mean, TV yeah, one. Yes, you can. All you get is unsung now. The sad yeah, shit. Yeah, reality TV. Okay. I think that's what changed that part. Boy, of the first no, seven no, 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 minutes no, 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 of unsung shows. The energy, the energy that changed. Man, what them chills? Like, give me them plain Jane chills back. You know what I mean? I yeah. remember yeah. that. Yeah. I, I, I think that when reality TV hit, that killed the 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 substance in television for black. Entertainment. But they want to see you know what I mean? Though. Because once you see a motherfucker get on there and kiss Flavor Flav in the mouth for 40 weeks straight, you know what I mean? Why you can't I'm turn away from it, though? Man, you know what I mean? You couldn't turn away, bro. It, it tapped into an element that you never thought that you wanted to see. That's but once they got it, was there, you couldn't bro. stop watching. These motherfuckers was in there fighting over Flav, bro, and it was like, this is the well, greatest shit ever. All I'm saying is, somebody <laughs> decided it was too much black shit on TV. 
But that's what I'm saying. It's not that they decided. I don't think it is that they decided it was too much black shit on TV. I just think they decided that the black shit that was on TV wasn't what they wanted it to be. Because it's still a lot of shit. It's nigga shit on TV now. Black shit they ain't want. They was like, we got to get more nigga shit on this box. Think about every movement, bro. It has been dismantled. Every movement. Black Panther. The, what are them? The word black scared the shit out of me. NCAA. You got the Crips and the Bloods. NAACP, finding. my yeah. name. <laughs> they said the NCAA. Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> what the fuck is Tyler Sports got to do with this? <laughs> I'm heartfelt, my nigga. I'm heartfelt. All right. NAACP. You feel me? Like, Negroes can't attain anything. NAA, NCAA. No, no <laughs> they got, listen, you got the Crips and the Bloods fighting each other, but the Crips and the Bloods took the same doctrine from the Black Panther movement. That was the, that one was all it's about. It was for the community. You dig know what I'm saying? So it's like, look at everything we done started. Any type of movement, my guy. Any movement that, sh- that stands for us, what we got. I mean, it's just, it ain't even a movement. Even if you got a movement in place, they're going to knock the, the leaders off. But, but uh, you know what I'm saying? The mean, movement that, take the what, head off and the, everything goes. The movement goes. is what motivates people and makes people feel like they stand for something because it's like, it's an energy. Once they realize, even with the OKC, with the bomb of Tulsa, Oklahoma, bro, when we was big on entrepreneurship and finally having a chance to be somebody because we didn't have a chance to be somebody because we was just in chains where we would had to stay as a monkey. We had to act like a monkey. Now we got an opportunity to be a human being. Nigga, you want to be, nigga, you want to do pattern? Do it. Nigga, what you want to be a doctor, nigga? I'm sick. Do it. But you know what what I think killed that? Integration. I think that integration, as fucked up as segregation was in regards to the messed up parts about it, segregation made us have to depend upon our own skill sets and depend upon each other because we couldn't go over there. We weren't allowed to. So I had to become a doctor because if I didn't become a doctor, then we wouldn't have no doctors to serve us. But once we were like, oh, it's it's all inclusive. Everybody can go anywhere now. It made you feel like you were getting a better service by going to the other man. You know what I mean? It's a very fucked up because it's like we set the standard of where we had to be in order to be equal. Yeah, man, white people shit saying? better than what it we was, already it had. That, it was like they already ran the judicial system. They they ran all everything, so the laws we gotta abide by the laws. So but that's y'all the, that's are the, the people illusion. that we have to live amongst. We gotta work up. We gotta work with each other. They never really did the shit. They just made you think they did. Did you see that shit with that black couple? They were trying to get their house sold, and then they had the white people come sit in there that's and went the up half game. a million dollars. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to do that shit. That shit crazy. I'm doing that shit. Oh, you know what? We in that position now. That's what we all need to do. Let's just hire some white stunt doubles, nigga. Just no, some white we people all need, that said that. We all need one white family uh-huh. that we can use, that's going to let us use their white privilege. Mm. Oh, that's the show, Who's too. Ryan, not white. Oh, yeah. Asian. He's perfect. Yeah, that worked. Oh, man. Here. He's hate, yeah, hate, man, hate. we just, and then we can say it on here so we can find like some white people. Wait, who you know how funny that would be? You know how funny it would be? Well, we, we all just, find we a just, white yes, family. We just looked in the camera yes. and snapped, and it was three white motherfuckers sitting here that was us. <laughs> yeah, no, that can they ask Bop, 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 and it's three white. Welcome to the 85 like you said, South though, show. That, that would be the show, though, where we just all have three white families, and we just use some of their white privilege. What would you use your white privilege? What was the first thing you would do with your white privilege? Man, first thing I'm doing with my new white family, I'm going down and getting a loan. I need half a million dollars. Mm. Oh, the first thing I'm doing? First thing. I'm getting in the car. Zero percent interest. I'm getting in the car. And I got about eight years before I even got to start paying this shit back. I'm getting in the car. And I'm pulling That's up. That's the first day, though. But I'm, we do shit like this all the time. All the time. See, listen. Business man. lines of credit. I'm going to tell you, the first thing I'm doing is I'm getting in the car, I'm pulling up my Waze app, and I'm going to see where they say police was spotted, and I'm speeding <laughs> like a motherfucker past all them bitches <laughs> just to get pulled over. Do just you know so who I can my roll dad the is? down and say, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you pulling me over for, asshole? You don't That's what you're going to do the first day. You fucking dickhead. 
Write the goddamn ticket, you fucking asshole. I got my fucking family in the car. Fucking right. scaring my daughter with this shit. So what you think the first family meeting gonna be about? I don't know, because I don't really want all the white folk around me like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be comfortable in hell. I'm like, man, y'all gonna have to sleep outside, man. Y'all hey, mean us like that. Get see, your monkey ass outside, go man. No, you got it. It's you. You get, get to use. You get, get to use the, the white privilege. It's just what oh, would you oh. use the white privilege for? See, hell, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just making fuck up their bank account, man. Just drop a whole bunch fuck of bullshit. Up a check. Man, fuck, fuck they but account. they got white fuck people money. Up. It's unlimited. It's gonna be clean, huh? It's unlimited. They got. They keep in mind they white people. These real white people. Man. See, I don't need them in, in order for me to just have privilege. You just fucking up the concept. I know. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I would have been told to come get the fuck out of my face. I'm using that white privilege. <laughs> I'm using that white privilege. Oh, I'm talking about. Y'all motherfuckers, Girl, we still gonna, back. We still gonna keep it, so you just gonna be some angry nigga in the family. They gonna take you to rehab. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, All the way, we gonna use it. All the way. I'm just complaining you about mean shit. Us? Just going places complaining about Why shit. God damn. Why my car ain't clean? What the fuck, bro? I mean, come on. I mean, we're all going to the same place. I mean, it's one plane, asshole. God damn. Did the dog you guys eat? trying to speed up and get in front Did of me. Did the dog eat? Hey, excuse me. Hey, you might turn it down your music a little bit, buddy. Yeah, I don't want to trap it out. I'm fucking head's hurting, guy. I'm you just, already an asshole. You don't wait too long. Uh, yeah, no, I, right. I got to stop. That shit See is, what I'm saying? It's time to wait on. I got to go outside. You fuck around and go outside and forget. <laughs> Get your ass beat playing, nigga. You ain't going to turn the undercover brother. You ain't going to turn the undercover brother. I just want nannies. <laughs> I'm like, no, Tico, no, man. And I converted my butt. And I had to wipe people around him too long. That's why I told you that you'd be outside. <laughs> Man, you crazy as hell. That's how they talk about us. That's how they still think. I'm like, damn, bro, they really got the mentality that we supposed to be their maids. No, nah, man. Yeah, they do. No, I'm telling you, deep down in their heart, in their soul, when they see us, they like, this nigga should have opened my car door for me. Nah, I, you, don't think it's it's, me pull you don't think it's no good white people out here? Yeah, I do. Man. That, that, but we, I don't feel like I should have to figure out who are you. <laughs> you, should, you, should, you should expose yourself immediately. That's a good point. I don't want to have to figure that out. Because any moment, forward. you can still pull your white card. That's what you still got over me. Because right now, the judicial system or the state line that I'm living around is white. So I know who's behind you. But if the judicial system was black over here, I would feel more comfortable. Because you ain't finna put me away. My people ain't finna put me away because I ain't committed no, no... We need our own justice system. Yeah, nigga. Oh, that'd be crazy. That's why niggas be like, fuck politics. You like, bro, we gotta get into politics. And guess who make the laws? The people. It be people up there doing that'd the be so hard, make the laws. Niggas, with niggas, niggas is just... It's gonna make it so difficult because we gotta establish some type of order and system and who in charge. That's gonna be the hardest shit that's gonna yeah, figure it out. You know what I mean? That's the thing. They all want everybody else got a chance to figure it out. We gotta change the infrastructure. We want we wanna get the we gonna it's gonna take us some time, but y'all been fucking up all this time. Come right. on, man. And we get what? And we smart enough to figure that shit out though. We just gotta get out that crab in the barrel mindset. You feel what I'm saying? Understand that when people are in charge, these are the people that we have. You know what I'm saying? Put in charge, and they're gonna be our spokesperson for the whole group. Now, no nigga up there be talking, man, I can do his job. We ain't appoint you to do nothing. But this is what I'm saying, though. It's like, maybe Sit we too focused. Maybe we too focused on the wrong shit. Maybe we about? think niggas is crabs in a barrel or mm -hmm. all this violent shit because that's the only shit that they showing us. Right. It's more niggas out here not on that bullshit than, right. you know, than are on it. No, nah, I mean, I, you, but the thing is, is like you have a, it only take one bad experience to ruin the perspective all the way around. So it's like, well, that mean you, don't you know have what I mean? Enough experience you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have another, another one, another, right? And, and be free and not be afraid to take another shot. You know what I'm saying? Though. Some gotta be a motivational purpose, even with the music, all that. Even I, I seen a clip when they said that they rearranged how the music was. You remember all the KRS ones and all the motivational. Music that was all of a sudden it was a flip to just straight gangster rap. Right. That's what they wanted. Because they want you to think small. Because they didn't want you to be there because they had the, also the jail system that they was trying to feel. Yeah, they want you to think small so you can get small results. Facts. So they gave you. They didn't want me just to think that higher power. There you go. They didn't want us to have that knowledge because <laughs> it's sour. 
What the hell is wrong with this dude, man? We gon' make a way because we're black. <laughs> and that's a fact. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Hell yeah, yeah. Damn it! We keeping it blacker than the bottom of your feet in this bitch today. Who, who the no fuck? Who the, who the fuck? Who the fuck? Who the fuck feet black on the bottom? There's some creeps out there. <laughs> Keeping it blacker than the back of your neck. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> oh, shit, man. What are you here, man? No cap. Oh, that nigga really got up the road down like that. He bro. left the sun. <laughs> that nigga got the fuck off. Oh, man. I got to talk about this shit. He took off on you. When you told the lady her teeth look like a V-neck and this oh, nigga yeah. picked up the hockey, the, high, the hockey sticks and bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean it was the, the way that nigga like Me hey, too, man. I done been, been watching crazy, the app, man. man. If you ain't got the I'm app, good. get the app. Get Channel the app. 85, man. Get the app. That's been my entertainment. I've been streaming the app crazy. Man, man what y'all want to put on the app? Man, everything, bro. Some more content. Everything that everything, the, the, the other big motherfucking entities said that they ain't want. You know what I mean? Feed it to the people. Fuck you know that shit, yeah. man. We got a platform, man, and we can get these folks our ideas, our brains, I want to do a, a, you know, you know how it's like the, what is it, live at the actor studio? Inside. You remember that? Actor Inside studio. the actor studio. I want to do one of them for all of the, all of the niggas in movies that wasn't the main character, but that was like the niggas, the niggas in the movie. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? My man. have on there first? Oh, uh, first it got to be goddamn Eileen Cousin from Men Society, nigga. Man, that nigga's so funny. I, I got life. to get that now that we got to sit down with Slim, man. man. He has been in everything, man. Came the Men so Society, funny. too. The men, exactly, all he the way. He talked just like that in real life. He like, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm yeah. Like, crazy. Hey, All one way. of my favorite characters that they never mention when they bring up Samuel L. Jackson is when he played Tat on Menace to Society. Tat, 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 what the fuck, man? You owe me some money, motherfucker. Nah, but here you go. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Them characters. Cut hey, that nigga, that nigga was a gangster in that motherfucker. Get, get him on there and talk about cutting from dead Gay. president. He said, man, stay the fuck Gay. away from my family. What did you say? He said, I said stay the fuck away from my family. Look, little brother, I don't want no problem. Boom, knocked that nigga down the steps. Came down, took the gun out, nigga. He said, yeah, she suck it, didn't she, nigga? Yeah, she wasn't doing it like that before you went to the war, was she? Make you feel like a man, don't she? Yeah, she suck it. Yeah, look at that nigga. Suck it, nigga. Suck it, nigga! That damn, that damn, that damn president! <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's the Cuddy from damn presidents, yeah, man. He said, she, you gotta stop spoiling her like this, Cuddy. Hey, somebody's gotta do it. But hey, hey, I wanna introduce you to my uh, and that nigga pulled off. Cuddy, one of the coldest niggas ever, man. We gotta, we gotta give, we gotta shed light on those characters in movies, man. Felicia from Friday. No cap. Yeah. Those people, the unsung for actors, in a sense. You know what I mean? What about my boy from, uh, uh, from the wood? Why be wearing the hat like Stacy? Oh, yeah, my Stacy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Got he the better than a bunch of shit, mother. too. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want you out of my house. You can't stay here anymore. That nigga was a real Christian. Uh, that nigga wasn't having it. Grandma couldn't even help that nigga out Grandma looked at that nigga ass, he <laughs> Hold up. Please tell me you have seen the HD version yeah, of Minister that. Society on Netflix. <laughs> nah. It looked like a whole different movie. For real? Watch it. But that, funny. that shit looked like you watching some shit in 3D. It's a whole, it changed the whole movie though, man. He said, Grandma. I'm gonna keep me out. <laughs> grandma, like, damn, boy, grandma, was, like, grandma like, damn, bro, bro. was through with they ass when they motherfucking stopped our league because of that, brother. I just want to ask that nigga, what motivated you to walk to the car like that? You know what I mean? When that, when that nigga walked to the car and got the car, hey, let's go peel these niggas cap back. Like that nigga. That, like, bruh. It's the only that, that nigga walked to the car, that nigga said, hey, me. Let's go peel these niggas' cap back. He meant that shit. <laughs> that nigga act like that in real life. That nigga act like that in real life. Hey. <laughs> 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 
OG Bobby Johnson. OG Bobby Johnson. And OG Bobby man, Johnson. that's what, hey man, that's Ooh. one of my favorite scenes from any movies when they had OG Bobby Johnson in there. That mother said, You got some business sticking your nose in Aryan Brotherhood Affairs, Akeem. And I was like, That's a man. He's a man. He said, There's a grown man. He was like, Well, I want 15 cases, cigarettes. Marlboro, all white. Shit, man, man, that shit, I love that goddamn movie, love, my man, nigga. I love that shit. That nigga, OG crazy. Bobby Johnson, deuces. I tell you, that's the shit. There's a lot of old, this old school. Hey, that was saying the original Johnson gangsta. looked at a nigga and said, I ain't scared of you. What about him? Fuck him. <laughs> OG call, nigga. You ever see uh, uh, the the movie? What? Uh, original. Jimmy's gangsters. only ten years old. Motherfucking <laughs> <laughs> local shit. At that age, they don't ask no questions. Hey. <laughs> well, where we got your boy out there hey. stealing Bobby? No, another, another, another boy, nigga from that, that nigga uh, Damon Wayne's character in Colors. Bro, what was that? Rocket? What's his name? Rocket? Uh, his name wasn't Rocket. Well, which was his name? I, I don't remember his yeah, name. Yeah, but that man. nigga, you know what I mean? He's uh, taking mean? out shines, that is our job. And if you think we the Crips, then you can do the knob. That nigga was freestyling <laughs> that Astro Van, nigga. He was. Yeah, that's what they, what they did the first scene in the uh, Colors in the Astro Van that you had. Yeah, I miss my Astro Van. You have, you, have you seen Colors? I seen Coach. Yeah, that shit hard. Uh, yeah, man. But that did, it would be a dope concept. Get T-ball, yeah, ain't I know. Ain't nothing on Boys in the Hood, bro. What? Going crazy. That Boys in the Hood was the, I think that was the first one that really, I don't know colors though, man. When you watch it's colors, My favorite man. scene on Boys in the Hood when them niggas was sitting on the porch lying. When the niggas was talking about how he sh had a shootout at the mall. Uh, Motherfuckers throwing cookies all at the motherfucking cookie shop and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches running out the shop. <laughs> then they cut to the next nigga line. He was like, big old country booty, big old country titties. <laughs> I like, I like when them niggas were young. They were like, you want to shit that body? Uh-huh. Nigga just walked back and be like, he want that. Kick him. I'm like, what? You gonna kick the nigga? Just kick him. I'm like, hey, 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 get a little nigga's ball back. Yeah, oh, nigga, fuck, no, nigga like 18, but man, man, get your sister nah. dead body up here. Oh, yeah. Won't give a fuck. He ain't bothering you, so don't, don't fuck with him. him. Right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who held the money up better, him or motherfucker. Uh, uh, what's my man name from Payton and Four when he was going upstairs? Calvin. Remember that nigga said, I got enough money to buy me a hundred balls. Nigga, when that nigga Calvin was walking up the steps after he told that nigga Ace, nigga, you need to start hustling. That nigga turned around and said, and walked up the steps, nigga. That nigga, this is cold ass. We gotta talk to niggas like that's what we gotta put on the app, nigga. Having conversations with niggas like that. Yes. Calvin from Paid in Full. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I'm dropping a dime on them niggas. Had to drop it. Them niggas was in, what was they at, Mill? Uh, Nebraska. Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha, Nebraska. Is man, that we the still... illest nigga in Nebraska? Hey, man, we still got to name the studio. Good. It ain't 85 Studio. I thought. Oh, that's what we gonna do? I thought that's what it was. I, I could be. I mean, that's the best shit in the world. For real? Where they going? They're shooting down at 85 Studio. Is it one studio or is it like 85 of them? No, nope, it's 85 studios. I think we, we got to name it 85 studios because that's what we're going to have, right? Ain't we going to get like 85 studios? Yeah. We'll get like 85 studios. 85 studios. We'll get like 85,000 acres or something. Yeah, 85 studios. We'll have like 85 kids. Hey, man, y'all seen that Western on Netflix? The that shit good. Oh, that shit good. I liked it. I want to be in one. Be in the Western? Hell yeah, now? Yeah, after seeing that, I love to be the low down nigga in the Western. But I gotta live so I can be in the secret. Oh, yeah. I want them to fake kill me. You feel me? Like, get yeah. shot up, and then I just like, they show me, I'm like crawling off, but they don't never show where I go. Yeah. Then the next out, you just see the I little come back. Come back. I've been in the cave, like, getting my shit yeah, back yeah, together. You gotta have some type of scar that's recognizable, though, like they did on there. You gotta, like, you lose a <laughs> finger or something. But then this one, I'm just seeking revenge. Like, you don't remember me? <laughs> And when you and when you pop up, it goes have that little finger, little shit. Yeah. <laughs> like you lost the finger or something, like you don't remember me, and you come up, snatch that glove off, nigga, put your hand over your face. <laughs> oh no. Maybe you remember me now. <laughs> it's, one, it's one finger slim. 
You know what type of movie I, I want to be in? I want to be in a movie like Harlem Nights from that era, nigga. Oh, like the, 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 the Harlem, shit Harlem Renaissance I era with niggas wearing cops and shit, nigga. I got it. Oh. I want to be one of the first slaves to buy my freedom back. And you what go back. What happened with us, nigga? We, we can't get out of here? <laughs> I'm just saying that. Watch you get your Yeah, no. no. No, maybe that's what oh, it is. Right, right, he yeah, escaped yeah, yeah, yeah. and then come back oh, and buy us out of slavery. Oh, wow. So right. you come back and buy you all. You escape, you escape, you go up and you like, you is, you know what? what? To that's plan, the no. Western. You escape, you become lie, one of the coldest guns in the West. And then I just come steal y'all. And then you come steal us back, nigga. You come, you, you is, put the gang back together. He never came back in time. He never come back in time what he said, so I'm always be angry. It's right after slavery, it's about 1899. Right, you know what I'm saying? But niggas still ain't free. Niggas ain't free. No, we way. free. Five years later, we already free. He talking about, I came back to get you. You lying, motherfucker. <laughs> I got whipped five times. You, <laughs> you just got your papers back. You just left us. I'm going to Mississippi. I'll be right back. <laughs> you left our ass. Y'all going to make us do promos? I figured. What about we do a movie from the 80s? Where we like... All big time hustlers, but we all get on the powder real bad. Get on the powder real bad? Oh, no, I don't want to be on that one. Oh, uh, I don't want to I, I be on that. I want, if I do Man, an 80s movie, me too, but I don't know nothing. I, I'd I know be a crackhead, though. No, yeah, we some dope boys can go wrong. Uh, no. See, that'd be crazy. Like, that'd be, that's, a, that's a dope first, that's first a dope. First three seasons, we ballin'. Yeah, the then first we three seasons, then we all get on dope. You know what I mean? I'm talking we on the bad, though. Bad, I'm talking about we extra bad. We didn't even pack. No, baby, everything packed. Everything good. We got money, but we, we fucked up. Oh, you fu that's the pro that's the show, us fucking off all our dope money because we all dope. But now. I'm a dancer, though. <laughs> like, I'm a choreographer. Like, every time I get on, no one, man, I'm, I'm paying. Yeah, fuck that dude. But then the thing is, do you know the funny part? The funny part is we Ooh, all have. I talk Michael Jackson, all that shit, all that. Ooh. It's gonna be a nigga named T Pain in 2000. He gonna get it. I'm we all hiding it from each other. <laughs> <laughs> Don't none of us wanna let each other know that we smoking dope now. Shit, <laughs> I ain't hiding it. I can't do it. Look, I don't know about y'all, but I'm gonna get shit. I'm gonna get off it first, though. Why you got to succeed? Why you got to succeed? That nigga leaving us fucked up, my nigga. He just get flavory first. This nigga get all the dope first. No, so you gonna get clean and not nobody. Oh, you don't fuck with us no more, huh? So we ain't got all the dope. Look at that nigga. Look at that nigga shoe. Oh, you took a shine with a day, huh, nigga? That nigga took a shine with a day. Well, get one. One of them you ain't fucking with. Get nothing. Give it to us, then, since you don't like it no more. I don't like it. Fuck it to a Whatever, man. We ain't nothing now. This nigga ain't even hooked no cable up in that mouth. Alright, how about we all pull it together to hit one more lick? Oh, now you need a quick. Now he didn't want help. He want our help now. Now we want to come back. When you got on and shit, you ain't come bring that white man that you were talking to every day. You know what I mean? Motherfucker, this nigga gonna talk about something. He need to hit a number. I gotta get off the shit first so y'all can do that. Whatever, nigga. You ain't even give me no chips, nigga. Mm mm. What well, fuck you do there, you dirty motherfucker? Fuck your plan, motherfucker. Yeah, you know I mean. Fuck you, fuck your plan, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nigga ain't got I no other customer. Fuck you, fuck your plan. I'm just finishing some you. ideas. I got another. <laughs> How about one called Black in the Future? Black in the Future. How far, How far in the future? Uh, How far? We already here. <laughs> we here now. How far in the future uh, we go? I don't think we can do it. Go back. A thousand years. We at the end of the wall. A thousand now. years in the future. Right at the touch screen. We like right this. Right, 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 right at the year three thousand. We're gonna go back what to dinosaurs. What, what, if, what if it ain't no black people in the future? <laughs> What if it's all black people in the future? That's, yeah, that, 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 Let's that, go to dinosaurs. That, that can be any type of movie. That could be a drama, a horror, a comedy, uh, the, uh, a they documentary. It's science fiction. It's science fiction. Seen them. Let's it's go White people volunteering to left the earth and let nigga have this shit. That should be cool. That might be on the horizon for real, nigga. That should be on the coons. I'm fucking with it. This nigga, this nigga DC. <laughs> this nigga, they DC. found another planet that this looks just DC like This nigga DC is angry black man off Martin. Sit your ass down. <laughs> I, I don't know it. on that little spaceship. This Get this your bitch ass on that spaceship, nigga. <laughs> Zoom out of here, motherfucker. They found another Earth in the galaxy, and oh. they left. They left this Earth and went over there. And they took all the food. Uh uh. Only thing is, they can't have no dogs over there. What over there? Yeah. So they just, like, they just be coming over here so they can have dogs. They can have pit bulls, nigga. This nigga crazy, man. 
Can we go to that shit? They just ain't finna keep coming to that shit. Mm -mm. No, we, we can't go to this shit. They can't come over here for no dollars. See, you just, said, yeah. you just said integration fucked us up. Look at you trying to integrate. Why mm -hmm. the fuck they keep coming back trying to get dogs and shit? These dogs may be robots. <laughs> nigga, you work for them. Get your ass off. <laughs> 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 nigga, you, nigga, you work for the white man. Get your ass <laughs> 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 oh, People think shit. they know me. They don't know me. <laughs> man. You got me fucked up. I'm, I'm in, in, in promo. All right, how about one like? Hey y'all, hey. Hey, look. Well, we all hit the Georgia Power Lotto. How about we write a we write a book about how we invited the guests and they left us? Like who? Oh no, somebody big. The you biggest. Just, you just write about it. And like, like whatever. I don't know. They just left. I think they had a flight. But I'm just saying, like, so that what? Well, well, how does it happen? I don't know. They was here, and then we like we we was lit, and then all of a sudden we. You look up, motherfucker on the plane. Bro, that, how, how can that even happen, man? That don't even sound right. Bro, I promise you. No, I'm you write a book about it, I bet that shit going to fruition. Right. But like, just, just like, like, keep doing it. You know what you should call it? What? Disappearing act. Mmm. Yeah, that'll be dope. That shit disappearing act. Who gonna believe that, though? If they read, you gotta have readers. Somebody, somebody believe it. Is it fiction or non-fiction? I get those confused a lot. Non-fiction. <laughs> Fiction is fake. Non-fiction is real. I hate that stupid shit. Yeah. Fiction is is fake and non-fiction is real. That's the dumbest yeah. shit in America. Who the fuck? Man, that shit. Every time somebody says explain that shit, why would non-fiction be real and fiction be fake? That's the dumbest shit in America. Yeah, because it's just like, yeah, nigga, no fiction. Fiction should be real and non-fiction should be not real. Mm-mm. Because it's non-fiction. Oh, yeah, it's not real. I'm doing all the fiction shit. <laughs> I don't want that non-fiction shit. I just want straight fiction. So a nigga be like, nah, but you really need non-fiction. Nah. No, nah, if you're a real nigga, it's non-fiction. You like, nigga, I ain't never been a non-fiction ass nigga, nigga. Now you on that fiction. Now you on that fiction. You fiction to be on that fiction, nigga. So non-fiction is real. Non-fiction is, is real. That's fiction crazy. is real. Fiction is not real You be all right, though. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I just go to the history side anyway, so. Hey man, I don't know if you heard or what you've been listening to, but we do have a new app called Channel 85. Please go yes, get it. We do. Please go, go get it. What's another show you gonna, you gonna put on there, man? There's another show we gonna put on there. We gotta have a cooking show on there. What would you yeah. call it? Uh, uh, <laughs> bacon with bean. Bacon with bean. Yeah, hot. Yeah, man. Yeah, bacon with bean. <laughs> Shit, bacon with bean. That's what it is, nigga. Cowboy has this shit. I come on that motherfucker. That shit has overalls on it. Bacon with bean. Bacon with bean. You just get all a bunch of niggas to come in and make, you know what I'm saying? Not, not, not no, they come in and make the shit you make when you ain't got nothing else to make. That's what I want to see. I want to see you put something together with, like, with nothing. Like, DC was to come in and make. Pecan swirl French toast, nigga. Mm. <laughs> How about a show like this, Chico? I would just have a show about old people arguing. Old people. I'm tired of you. Fuck you, motherfucker. What would you call it? Old people arguing. Oh, I'll call that shit. I ain't going back and forth. No, uh, no setup, no nothing. Just cut right to it. Just straight in. Straight in. Fuck you, Charlie. You dirty bastard. That's fine. Ain't nobody trying to hold that goddamn shit. Shut your goddamn ass up. No, 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 no. You supposed to put all day on my goddamn shit. Hey, fuck your goddamn car. Get up and get up and get goddamn shit. <laughs> yep. Now yeah, watch that. I'm going to put a show where I'm... It's called First Job. When we get crackhead. <laughs> they First Job. <laughs> Nigga be a that's You ever seen a crackhead be like a broke ass thug way? Nigga, you want some tuna? I don't know what the fucking tuna look like, man. Nigga, nigga. You know what shit that is? Shit look like some shit. That's, that's non-fiction right there. That's, that's, that's real. real. That's real. Oh, first dog. You're a crackhead, you're a first dog. You want to be a reverend? Come on, let's be a reverend. Since you want to be a reverend, I'm going to give you your first job. I'm going to give you a congregation and everything. Be a reverend. Hey, that'd be hilarious. You just, you just pull up on a crack and the window roll down real quick. Good and you stick DC like stick his head out. Hey, hey, my man, what is it that you want to be? Here, yeah, a veterinarian. Well, come on. Got your first job. Got your first job. This is a show. People who just about to show their ass on payday. 
Oh. That check that ain't that bill check, you ain't somebody who planned to fuck this check off. I got one that, that's in that same vein, call that bitch I quit. And just showing niggas going in and quitting their job. They, you find people who this close to quitting. Yeah, this, quit. this close to quitting. I quit, nigga. That's gonna matter when people quit. You like, come call them, call them, call them. I quit. I'm gonna quit tomorrow. Channel 85. Yeah, nigga. I got a big one. I got a new uh, episode. <laughs> this bitch been getting on my nerve for five years. I hate this song, that bitch. What you need me to do? I'll make sure the ratings go sky. <laughs> what? I quit, for sure. You want me to go big soon as I go in there, or you oh, yeah. want to start small? Well, I can do it at 9 o'clock in the morning. How do you want to do it? Oh, you, so they you got saying, plenty of shows you about people ahead. trying to lose hey. weight. No, you go We ahead. need a show about people trying to gain weight. People trying to go. Skinny niggas? Yeah. Skinny people trying to gain weight. That's a lie. Yeah, you know what I mean? Get your weight up. Get your weight up. <laughs> it be weak as hell. Yeah, get your weight up. They, they had all fat niggas show. They had to get fat. Fat like, nah, 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 yeah. you, you, you eat your cereal with milk, baby. You're doing it the wrong way, my nigga. <laughs> you got to use syrup on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> what else you having? You only having cereal? You better make a sandwich out of that shit. <laughs> and put some bacon on it. Put some bacon that on it. Hey, that's the name of the show right there. Even get your weight up and put some bacon on it, nigga. Oh, nigga, put, put some, some bacon, bacon on it. it. It's a whole show. It just ain't even no words. It's just food <laughs> on the table. And motherfuckers adding bacon to it. Like one of them SMR and, and videos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we gonna fuck the game up with our content. There ain't gonna be nothing like this in available, nigga. I'm telling you, man, fuck the game up. And have a have oh, a show. Oh, we need a whole have a show, show. For Joe. I mean, like Joe, she always like, who's that laughing in the background? Yeah. Just, just had niggas come out and identify laughs, nigga. Whose laugh is that, my nigga? Oh, we need a whole <laughs> That's show. That's DCF Fly. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> we need a whole show just called Income Tax Season. They're gonna make people wanna flip then. They're gonna do it anyway. Income tax season would be dope. Good job, bro. You gotta do it like true life. You gotta do it like true life, though. You gotta follow this couple all the way up. From the, nah, I'm talking about from right now, like from right before Christmas, all the way up to tax season. <laughs> to when they get the check. <laughs> to when it come, bruh. What if they want you to see how they live? Huh? What if they want you to see you how they live? You can't be on the show. Ah, ah. That's it, you can't you be on the show. This is the Open point of the show. Open these curtains, man. Whatever the income tax is, the show gonna match it. What? Oh yeah. What? Whatever what? they whatever they get back, the show gonna match it. Uh uh, you put yourself too much in nigga. Uh uh. -oh. Somebody, somebody might need to get the ten. You gonna have to get the ten? It's a whole last show. <laughs> and they ain't with that money shit. Is that it? They ain't with, with that giveaway shit. They ain't with that giveaway shit. We always want to give the giveaway. And then it includes us going to our pocket. I'm like, we gotta go. God damn, hey, hello. Hey, DC ain't with that guy there, all that extra shit. Come out 25, huh? Yeah. I guess we gotta match it. We need to do another episode. Hell no. Nah. All right, man. We gotta oh, get man. the fuck out of here. Yeah, might as well get on, man. Might as well leave. We gotta do some promos. I mean, we ain't, you know what, today when we leave, let's not say bye to each other. <laughs> Nobody say nothing. Just, just everybody say just leave, bro. You know what? Nobody say they leaving. No. <laughs> everybody just get up and just. Got a flight to catch. <laughs> Roll out, bro. About this bitch. <laughs> 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 that, that's how we end the show. Like, get my <laughs> when Ross get up and leave, then we just get up and leave, and then it go off. Nigga, that's it. <laughs>